subscribe, bell, all, subscribe, bell, all, subscribe, bell, all, subscribe, bell, all, Subscribe. Bell. All. Hey, thanks, guys. Hey, no problem, Greg. Alright. Hello and welcome. This is Gray Hughes of Gray Hughes Investigates on YouTube. This channel evaluates all aspects of true crime. As you are aware, videos and live streams in this genre often discuss elements of crime that may be disturbing to, to some, some viewers. If necessary, take oh, the viewers, precautions right. needed to avoid these feelings. Factual information related to cases is the key to fostering rational true crime discussions. Fortunately, you will find that here. That's right. Please hit the like button only once. Share the video and subscribe if you like my content. Yep. Thank you very much for watching. Huh? It's a house! Come on, man. What's wrong with you? Did you hear what I said? You know, that's just one step above stupid. Have you lost the last three brain cells, or do you just have cabbage for brains? Five brain cells, four aren't working. There's mosquitoes the size of bald eagles in that dead gum swamp. Look at that. Oh, God, Chloe's going, eating it again. Oh, my God, what is she doing? What is she doing? Ah. Send a text over there. Alright. Man, I got a ton of stuff. Like old stuff that I was looking through. Alright? Like tons and tons and tons and tons of just so many different things. It's crazy. Absolutely nuts. Yep, there they are. Thanks, Heather N. She done eating the pink bed? Oh god, she's just chewing on it. <laughs> Alright, so anyways. Here we go. Let's just get started. I remember after the Blazers won the championship, the mayor of Portland said, we can pass out the presents and do all that stuff th later. But let's get started and do what we came here for. <laughs> Maybe that's what I should say. Hey, we can pass out the presents and do all that stuff later. But let's get right to it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hey, look at that. It's Kathy Chapin, the legend. All right, here we go. Let's see, how are we gonna, I don't even know, I'm just gonna, it's just gonna be random stuff, we'll just kind of tie it all together, I guess. Um, so this is just like a lot of the stuff that I've had over the years, okay? I guess we could start off, you know the, that whole thing with Anthony Schatz, you know? With Anthony Schatz, let me show you this. So here is a uh, screenshot that I got back in March of 2017. It actually says the date up right up at the top um, on the other screenshot, but it's like March, I don't even know what it was, but right early on in the case, and it says, they were like, hey, do you, what do you think of this? And they said there was no social media, so I wasn't really that big, but it said on it, it says, I have money, silly, 
I have a few, a few super nice cars. It would be a big deal for me to cut. This is a catfishing account. This is the Anthony Schatz profile that Keegan Klein was using. It says, done kidnapped me. Like, wouldn't be a big deal for me to come uh, come to you. Ha ha. Done kidnapped me. Probably like, don't kidnap me. And then he said, then he said, wow, with a sad face. Yeah, see, that's, this is him, Keegan Klein, trying to manipulate a uh, victim. This guy, right, this, Keegan Klein is exactly the predator's that like um, you know Steph Stephen Stearns is was prior to Madeline dying you know I don't know uh, I don't know you that's why I said that okay and then rape me like hey okay for, let's get past that you're an eight buddy <laughs> oh wow and then he said then she said ten Ha uh, ha, thanks. Yep. So I'm obviously cute. So Anthony Schott says back, you know, I'm obviously cute to you. Ha ha, why would you ever think I'd kidnap you? I'd beat someone up that mess with you, silly. Ha ha, I never do anything to harm you. And then um, the girl said, normally older people don't do things with younger kids unless they are kidnappers or something. And, oh, thanks. All right, so this, she's sort of aware, you know? Wow, sorry for thinking you're pretty. Yeah, again, trying to manipulate her. Uh, no, don't take that towards you, I was just saying. Oh, ha, uh, I was like, what the F? I don't know why I'm attracted to you. Sorry, uh, <laughs> I, don't, I know, I'm, I'm older. You're just our, you know. See how, just how sick this is? This is a, like right out of the playbook that these wackos use, right? And so that, that was something I had early on, but it didn't really, you know, at that time it didn't mean anything. And then later on it seemed to sort of mean something, but then it, now, now it sort of doesn't seem like it is. Yeah, definitely manipulating, trying to, you know, make her feel guilty for any kind of reaction she might have. Uh, let's see, what else we got here? Oh, yeah, so there was another person on the bridge named uh, Cheyenne. Like, she got there at... I mean, we can take a look at this. So after the girls are uh, made to go down the hill, one of the people that the defense team is like, who is that? What's, why is there another no, a phone number pinging up there? I'm sure that's her. You know, so right here it says, after I got out of my car, uh, she says, after I got out of my car and was already walking towards the bridge, I had missed a phone call at 2.50. You know, her name's been out there a million times. So it was like uh, 2.50... Um, when she was walking down the trail, she missed a call to go to the bridge, and that was at 2.50, all right? So then we go to this one right here. It says, um, so I think this is, a, this, you know, this guy, this is a guy that um, was in one of my, my Facebook group re related to the case. It says, sorry to message you. I know you've been getting a lot. Great, he's a good guy. He lives in Oregon and has made some interesting and well-regarded videos on the case and others as well. Often professionally, I collaborated with him a few times. He has used science to pinpoint where the subject on the bridge was when Libby captured his image. He and I were the first ones to suggest down the hill was at the S, the south end of the bridge more than a month ago. All right, then the next one is, yeah, I'm just so over it. Though. I show my image to show how beautiful nature can be and people go nuts. I hope they find who did this to these girls. Me too. All right, really, I'm really just going to focus in on what she was saying. Nope, if I have no service, it will have an original. St uh, yeah, okay, I guess we have to go back to the last one. So it says, have you ever tried to upload a picture to Snapchat but did not have a good connection signal so the upload is delayed? Do you think your 349 picture was taken at 349? I'm trying to figure out if Libby's picture was actually at 207. Any thoughts? Uh, nope, if no service, it will save the original timestamp, and once it does get posted, it remains the same. So it does keep the timestamp on there. Cool, good to know. Thanks for your reply. Yeah, her Snapchat was 207, and I arrived at 245. Is that crazy? Like, this girl got, the, like, they're made to go down the hill at 213, and then likely got to the crime scene by, you know, let's say 
225 or so and then 20 minutes later there's a girl on the bridge right well let's see yeah her snapchat was 207 and i arrived around 245 well down the hill had already happened by the time you got there and they were likely already across the creek yeah yeah exactly the area is very unique whoever did it had it uh, pre-planned Okay, we already, already got that one. Round number four. I guess I could just hit the arrow here. Uh, yeah, uh, it said, I hope uh, I'm, I'm not bombarding you or whatever. And she says, yeah, go ahead, ask more questions. Let's see. And he says, that was fast. On your way out, do you think you saw the parked car of the parent or the parent um, in person or a car belonging to the suspect? Yes, I saw her dad. So she saw Derek, and that makes absolute sense because Derek got, see, that's what's interesting, right? Because Derek got there at 3.15, but then he walked around and he went back to the car by about like 3.50 something, and that's right when she was leaving. So she definitely saw him. And there were cars around, but I don't remember much. Like I said, I was going for a hike. I didn't realize I was walking into a murder scene. Exactly. Uh, yeah, you handle yourself remarkably well in those groups. Mature for your age. I, would, I wouldn't have been able to do that. Oh, trust me, there's times where I wanted to rip a few people apart, but I had to bite my tongue. But at the time, at the same time, I knew there was 10,000 people in the group. I wasn't about to look uh, crazy. Uh, say no to lols, everybody. Say no to lols. Got to make up for earlier. Uh, I should bite my tongue more, to be honest. Yeah, and um, that was what he said. Hers is in white. Yeah, and to some of those people, it's like talking to a brick wall. Boy, ain't, ain't that the truth. Now, the other car was the couples, who was also my friends. So there was another car there that was, uh, there was two other people uh, that were there with her. And yeah, and to some of these, okay, that's the same one. So around the seven. Thanks for your time tonight. Thank you so much. My pleasure. I'm growing tired of some of these groups. I'm now just down to two. Yeah, I'm, I'm only in two, not really by choice, but I want to be aware just in case someone brings up, up uh, that I was there again. Yeah. See, people are probably sitting there accusing you. Yeah, I'm only into, uh, thanks for keeping your eye out for me. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is this is our the group that I have. It's actually called Delphi Case Discussion Now. Okay, I'll look into it for sure. I'm just trying to skip through it. They are my friends, but it took me way longer than five to ten minutes to get across. It was extremely windy that day. As soon as she got there, she started walking towards uh, the bridge. So she's talking about, uh, what time do you think your friends got to the bridge? I'm sure it was after down the hill, and they could not see the crime scene from there. As soon as she got there, she started walking towards the bridge. So there was somebody else there too, right? Yeah, we thought that, uh, let's see. Missed the girls being confronted by the guy by just minutes. Yeah, we've thought about that a million times. I'm thankful I didn't hear that though. Uh, we couldn't, we could have potentially walked up on someone and uh, the same thing happened. Uh, that's what I'm guessing. Depending on the wind, he could have heard any of us probably spooked him. Right, so the wind was blowing directly from the crime scene. So if you're looking at the crime scene right there, here's the bridge. The wind was going exactly right at the crime scene over there. So if you're over here, you could hear people pretty easily over here. But at, um, if you're on the bridge, you wouldn't be able to hear very well because the wind's blowing in the other direction. Hey, thanks, Kelly Snyder. <laughs> Appreciate it. All right. Now we got this one. 
Yeah, we are. And see, this is what I'm saying. Like, there's all the I've gone over these before, but it's not really common when I go over them. And so you got all these people out there that just are not aware of everything. So they just have these shows where you're just kind of on this low level, uh, driveling around. Uh, you know, everybody's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just, it gets kind of old, you know. Yeah, we're mostly flat land around here. Expect, uh, ex ex uh, probably accept that bridge. Just walked across the bridge and back. That's all she did. And she took some photographs when she walked across the bridge. And those are... Uh, here's here's one of them. So this is what Cheyenne, this is one of her photographs here. She took another picture of her friend uh, almost at the start of the bridge coming back. And then here's another one right here. So this one was crazy because this one's on platform five. And there's this weird little thing that's sticking up there. And everybody was going, what is that? Because nobody's ever seen it other than in this picture. It's like sti uh, a spike, a railroad spike right there. So remember, you remember the fork tree behind the killer? That's right there. Look, see that? Those those branches are what make up that fork tree. If I put that up right there, see that? Boom, and then how that branch kind of goes up, like right there. See that? That's right here. Okay, so that's way back there. I mean, that's something that you don't really realize, but uh, this is platform five, and the fork tree is back here, and the killer is way over here in that picture. But just the way it's filmed down low with a wide angle lens, it looks like it's right there. Right? So, see, you've probably some people have probably already learned more in two minutes in here about some random shit that you never knew. Okay, so I think the next one is this one. Heartbreaking. No, I didn't see a truck. Yeah, I had to, to I had to do my parents. I'm sorry about the taxi taxes jab. I'm not sure what that. Is. I had to help my daughter tonight. Yeah, I had to do my parents. Not sure what that means. Ah, uh, let's see. What do we got here? Yeah, rumors has it their throats were cut. Makes sense. It doesn't take that much time to do. Plus, it kept them from screaming. Yeah, it's like, you know, they wish there were more details out there. Yeah, I was wondering how they got the sketch. I don't know why Facebook sent that. So there's something here that didn't, and it said, uh, yeah, I'm sure people will say something, but let's see. Some inside sources are saying a teenager was jogging on the trails the day before and contributed to the sketch. Yeah, so that's like a, a early on theory was that he was like he was there a day before, kind of scouting out. But we don't even know, you know. Now that doesn't sound true, but because I, I haven't heard anything about that since. Yeah, I'm sure people will ha say something, but I was there the day of, not the day before. Uh, yeah, I'm sure people will say something. Okay, right there, and then. Stay strong, thank you. And then the last one is, first picture was taken at 3.49. Do you recall what time you took your photos on the bridge? And I don't think that that's correct here. That's when it uploaded. See, it says, also didn't your friends go to the bridge or wait for you to arrive at 2.45, 2.50? Uh, first picture was taken at 3.49, so maybe that's when it was uploaded. I don't know, the couple was already on the bridge by the time I got there. Yes, because she couldn't have walked from 349 to see Derek. Uh, well, I mean, he'd still be there, I guess. They are my friends, but it took me way longer than five to ten minutes to get across. It was extremely windy. So especially when you look back at this one here, where it says at 250, she was walking on the trail. So I doubt her first photo was at 359. And we actually did the, uh, the shadow study on that one, and it was more like 315 which makes a hell of a lot more sense. All right. <clears throat> so that's that one. So here is some other information. All right. So this is like back a uh, long time ago. It says, evidence w has come back. This is one of like a friend of one of the family members. Okay, it says evidence has come back 
from around Logan's property. Hopefully it helps them tie it to someone. Annie's seen the rest of the video, so that means she saw the, the video, the actual full 43 second video. Uh, there isn't much. We already knew that though. They want him to think there is though. That is Abby's shirt, the gray part in the picture, right? So watch the, uh, the video again. Here we go. So I've, already, I've known all this stuff for so long, and that's why I get so frustrated when you get people that go, Oh, that's bull crap, Cray. How do you know? All right, so anyway. How do you know they aren't lying to you, Gray? Some sort of a, a psyops. They're trying to trick you, and then you would... Guys. All right, look. Guys. See that? What? Oh, can you see that little thing that pops into the screen? Watch this. Guys. Right, right there, that little... There's like three, two or three frames where that blue is in there, or whatever that dark shade, and that's them cropping out Abby. Okay. Now don't forget to help support the channel tonight, you guys. So it was really slow earlier today for a three-hour show. Now we're doing another one. So if you can help support the channel, that'd be great. And there's Gray begging again, everybody. <laughs> Look it. I'll, I'll make it. I, I'll survive. I'm doing this because I want to make extra money for my channel and to support all the great stuff that we do, right? We've already given $3,500 this month out. And the only way it happens, you guys, is with your help, not me just doing shows and you staring at the screen watching, all right? All right, here we go. Uh, Annie, seen the rest of the video. There isn't much. We already knew that, though. They want him to think there is. This is Abby's shirt, the gray part in the picture. I just showed it to you. She looks at Libby and says, okay, so she looks at Libby, Abby looks at Libby and says, he's right behind me, isn't he? And then she hurries to the other end and then she gets behind Libby. The girls are discussing which way to go, something about two ways, it's very hard to hear. Then Abby says, is that a gun? He's got a gun. You see how long I've had that information? I mean, it's just, uh, I've told you guys, I've been telling you this for a long time, and now it came out in those documents recently. I mean, you know, like within the last year. Real stuff. That's right, Kathy Chapin and Lisa Valenzuela. Got slaughtered on the earlier one. <laughs> Uh, then Abby says, that's a gun, he's got a gun, right? He says, hey, so listen to this. He says, hey, what do you think that means? He says, hey, isn't that, you know, that's just like, guys, same thing as hey. You know? It's like, guys, and he says, he says, hey, and then Libby says, hmm, I guess, like, hmm, and he says, and then uh, down the hill and the gun cocks. So the gun cocks, he says, down the hill. They had to tell her uh, that's what it was. It was the gun sound. So the, the investigators had to tell Anna, yeah, hear that sound right there? That's what we think is the gun cocking. And guess what? Maybe that's when he put the bullet in the chamber and then later ejected it at the crime scene. Hmm, boy, that's interesting, isn't it? But it wasn't really his bullet, Gray. It was some Odinist that put it there. That borrowed a gun from his house. And then put it back in the house. And then, <laughs> okay. Uh, they don't think. So. Uh, then it, it, it's gone. Annie said she thinks she ran out of storage. It wasn't like she shut off or anything, right? So that's why it might be just forty-three seconds long, because it, it is. They say it was. If it was more, longer than forty-three seconds, it wouldn't have said forty-three seconds in the Ron Logan search warrant. That's how long the video is. So there are witnesses placing him there also, and he didn't bother them, and they were alone. So, let's see. They don't think so. Also, he was seen, but no one can draw a picture that's better than what's available. So there are witnesses placing him there also, and he didn't bother them, and they were alone. So those three girls and then um, Betsy Blair. There you go. There are four, there's actually four girls and Betsy Blair. 
All right, uh, so uh, for some reason, they think he specifically targeted them. There is absolutely no gunshot wounds anywhere on the girls. All right. Was that that first one still? Okay. Let me uh, get rid of that. Put this up here. Go to the next one. I don't know. Annie said it sounds so different from what we hear being enhanced. So she said when she listened to it, didn't quite sound that way. Hey, thanks, Cindy. Hopefully people listen to you. From what Annie said, it was really, uh, they were really, it was really nervous. The police wonder if the girls spoke to him on the way in. <laughs> Haven't we said that a million times? Like he passed them at the, I think he passed them just before the bridge, the girls did. You know, like, I think that after Betsy Blair left, he may have seen them coming and then walked past them, said something, and then stayed on the trail back there. Then, after he saw that the girls were on the bridge, he kept watching until he could make his move and trap them on the other side. <clears throat> right, that's why I said that, Zozo. So, so. Uh, that's all I know. Annie has no clue who he is. She believes she could somewhat pick up a gray in the beard. See, even she could see the gray in the beard. All of the witnesses saw him, that saw him, said, yeah, that's the guy that we saw. So when you hear Betsy Blair talking about, oh, a younger guy with brown hair, her memory was faulty. That's all you can say. Just like everybody else, the four girls all, you know, the three girls that spoke out of the four, and I know why, there's only four. The other girl's really young, all right? And I'll show you that picture, uh, blurred out faces and everything. So let me show you that. I'll, go, I'll get back to this in a minute. So you're getting to see all this stuff that's uh, been out there, gone over at various times over the years, but people just aren't watching this channel. They want to watch the conspiracy nutters, and they don't see the actual real information that's important, okay? Uh, let's see. And that's just a truth, a reality that I just told you there. And where is this? Yeah, that's not it. Hmm. Well, and, oh, there it is, there it is. So remember that, remember the shot at one, oh, you guys can't see it, so hold on a second. Let me get back to the. Okay, you remember how the, there's three girls at the bench? Do you remember that? There's three girls, uh, they went to the bench and took photographs. This is one of them, right? This is the photograph. 126, February 13th, 2017. This is the photograph. This girl here is one of, it's like, older like she's the same age as um you know like the other three there's two other witnesses that are that age and this girl here is the younger sister of one of them and she's very young that's why she's not a witness okay but she's in the picture it's at 126 she's one of the four and that's why they don't talk about her they just say that there's three girls that saw right because she's too young that makes sense? Everybody now? There were four, but one of them's too young. It's the sister of one of them, a younger sister, and that's it, all right? Hey, everybody, hit that like button, all right? So we got 431 people watching here, just in here, and just basically not, <laughs> just do it, it's simple. Here we go. I'm gonna, if we don't get to 200, we're pausing the show on your account. Hit the, like hit the like button, hit the like button, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 25, 40, 25 50, 50, hit that like button, 5, 10, 10 50, 20, 20, 20, 25, 30, 30, 30, 30, one of the easiest damn things, things to do in the world, you just take your finger and you press the freaking button, use your tongue, use your nose, do whatever it takes but hit the button. Well, we're only at 179, we got to do it again.
Hit that like button, hit that like button, 10, 20, 25, 30, use your nose, use your toes, use your tongue, whatever it takes, hit the damn button. Maybe your elbow, if you don't have any hands, just use the stubs on your hand, just hit the damn button. Alright, thanks. Hey, thanks, Heather Ann. Hit the F and like button. That's right! It's so freaking simple. People are just so rude. It's amazing. They just show up and go, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I won't even help support your channel. As a matter of fact, I won't even hit the freaking like button for you, you bastard. You're, hit, you're just going to do your show, and I'm going to watch it for God's sakes and help you not. Yeah, pretty sad, really. <sighs> All right. From when he said it was really nervous, uh, they... That's all I know. Annie has no clue who he is. She believes she could somewhat pick up Gray in the beard. They wouldn't answer a lot of her questions. Wait, Gray was there? Gray was in his beard? No, the, the, the color moron. Oh, okay. I was hoping he was, he was saying Gray was there. Uh, let's see. Let me get to the, uh, the next one. Yeah, something about uh, some sort about what we see piece. She said they're really nothing. No, and she said the angle of video is not normal. The way she was holding it, you know, we can't tell anyone this. Have you heard it, heard anyone? I mean, it's now everybody's seen it, so it doesn't matter. That's why I didn't put this out a long time ago. Sorry, I was cleaning my phone and sent you that. Uh, let's see, what does it say? Yes, and Annie... Couldn't pick it up herself. Holman told her what it was. Uh, you know, the, talking to the family. I will ask her. I have not asked her that question. She said he was moving fa fast too for being on the bridge. So he, he was just hustling across. Just like I've told you guys. He got across that bridge in probably three minutes. Three and a half minutes. And you can do that. So people always go, oh, come on. See, our buddy Baba, one of the uh, moderators... She's been there. She's the one that took all the great videos and we figured everything out. She got across in three and a half minutes. So it's just if you're focused and walking fast, you can do it. Hey, thanks, Sun Gal 1956, Jerry Walker, welcome, Charles Irwin, and Wise Child up there. Uh, you were wonderful on Court TV. Hey, cool, all right. She said the voice... Like when she gets excited or mad and you get that quiver. Okay. She said he was moving fast for being on that bridge. She said the voice. Like when she gets excited or mad and you get that quiver. She said there's nothing. No emotion at all. It sounds a lot different being enhanced in, in the tone. Okay. Uh, the reason I believed he's right hand is because Abby... Left side was beaten bad, he says, at the crime scene. Yeah, I, I didn't see anything like that. Um, that's why Abby's face was braided. Uh, face was braided on the left. I mean, hair was braided on the left side of her face to help cover it up. Yes, I didn't think about that. I did tell the girls who were uh, were not. Uh, let's see to keep it quiet yeah so they weren't assaulted they were just told to keep uh you know they were just you but the family was told to keep quiet gray art. Great video today they didn't even really have time to do anything like deer in a headlight so it was like deer in a headlight situation Chewbacca? Oh, I'll be Chewbacca if you want me to. look at this enhancement i did a long time ago look at that have never believed any other conspiracy theories only great exclamation mark colon underscore basic generous well thanks son gal basic generous colon underscore basic generous that's a nice thing to say lol <laughs> lol hey lol look at that it said lol at the end we don't want lols you get what i'm saying we don't want the damn lols all right so this says uh that wasn't the actual crime scene it was on the side of the bridge somewhere I'm praying the evidence leads. She, there, she was. She showed me a belt that they found underneath the bridge. I don't even know if it was hers or anything. I'm praying the evidence leads to someone that came in. So she, she didn't, and I didn't ask. 
I will. I did ask how old she thought, and that's when she said she thought she she could see gray in the beard. And see, look at that enhancement back that I did a while back at the very beginning. I think that one is really. Uh, let me see. I have oh, this one's even better right here. Look at. Can't you just see like it's right in there? Like there's a beard and I don't know. It's, it's all, all I did was change the contrast quite a bit. I see in the picture. Does the other picture look like he has a hoodie on also, or did he pull up when he got closer? I know she thought a ball cap and said his face was covered. Very good. They would not tell her what the other witnesses saw. I can see it in that picture. Let's see. I see a hoodie on his head, and that's what the police said as well. I think it might be just a hat, uh, a stocking cap now, though, you guys. Someone has to know who this guy is somewhere. Uh, that was a benefit today. My fiance made. Uh, she was sweetie a couple feet. A couple of feet, I believe she said it was so quickly. It was so quick. I know something and it's killing me and I can't tell any. Uh, this cannot get out either. I don't know how. I know it did not get permanently left on the girls. So listen to this. If you knew it didn't get left permanently on the girls, I have been searching all I can I think of is a six. I can't find anything similar. There was somehow an F left. I can't elaborate because that's all I know. See, even back then, this is back in 2017, people were talking about an F left at the scene. I don't even believe it's an F, you know. I can see why people think it is, but uh, if you, when you get it enhanced, it doesn't look like that at all. It looks like a, something else, like a, maybe a hand came up there. Uh, but there's people that can't unsee it like Zozo. <laughs> Every time I say it, it's not an F. She says, I still see an F. <laughs> I don't know if it's blood paper or what. So it is blood. But what in the hell is that? I'm 100% positive just that an F was there. I didn't push for questions. I know it's accurate. And I said, oh my God, did he hurt them? Did he carve it? That was my first thought. And he, and he said, no, there was no physical anything left with the F. And he said he was right there a couple feet behind her. So he was right behind Abby when she was trying to get off the end of the bridge. Yeah, you see her come to the end, no more of him. Then the phone goes down, right? So it actually starts filming kind of low to the ground like he didn't hurt the girls with the F. Okay, so she said that. Abby was facing Libby on the private property side. Right, so exactly. So Abby was facing Libby. Libby's, Libby's off the end of the bridge. He and Abby were walking the same way. See, boom. I mean, this is exactly what we've been saying. No, uh, no. and she said the down the hill is right at the private property and like right there. I wonder what DJ's scene was puncture wounds or something that he would think was small bullet holes. Yeah, because I was out there early on that it might have just been mud, you know, how like mud spots, but I didn't see any of that in the crime scene pictures. He was really convinced that it was like a gunshot or something. Yes, I watched it. I thought, I thought of it when Annie told me about the video. It's really messing with her, the voice and the demeanor of his voice she's having a really hard time with. To her... It may have seemed he was right there. It's so fast and so little. That's all she heard too. And him saying, hey, or, you know, guys is what he actually said. Uh, lands it, so it was filmed in landscape, apparently. That's what she said, which is interesting. That means it's sort of, I don't, I bet it, I mean, how would she know that, I guess? She just said she had it at a very funny angle. So I think she just had it down by her side and it was kind of like at a 45 degree angle and they've cropped it the best they could and and made it uh something that people could see uh 
No, but I cannot see it. I've never. I I can see it that it doesn't look like an F. It's got a cross on the top, uh, and then it drops down, and then there's a one thing across. It looks more like a. Now it looks, doesn't you know? For me, it doesn't look like one. So there's people that actually can go. Oh yeah, like at first I thought, oh, this sort of looked like an F, right? I guess I did right at the beginning, and then after I looked at it, after I enhanced it, it doesn't look like one at all. So I'm able to change, you know, after seeing it. I don't just keep saying it's an F. I did ask that she uh, landscape. I did ask that she does not know. Uh, that was how long did the vi how long was the video? Okay, so the video we know is 43 seconds long, but they told her both girls were gone by 3:30, right? And it even said that on a poster somewhere. So the girls were killed by 3:30. They know that both of them. So it's weird, right? So that means Abby, even though she may have lived longer, she was just sitting there. I mean, that's just crazy. I'm glad they told her that with all the rumors she had been what uh, something if in sense I know if it doesn't make it better but now she knows no matter how late they stayed out it would wouldn't have made a difference so the, what they're what they're saying is the searchers you know the searchers being out there we, we, they wouldn't have saved anybody they were already passed away by you know they, they didn't get there till like five four o'clock a few people and then five six o'clock yeah, so there you go. I don't think, hey, thanks, Michelle H. I don't think so, because when I heard they were leaving and the F, that's that much more, but they didn't want to, him to know. I don't know what that means. F, that there wasn't much more. Yes, I'm pulling the link. It's like a hidden Illuminati number chart where F is six. I don't know what it could be I've been digging. <laughs> there you go, everybody. Now it's the Illuminati. Hey, forget the Odinists. Hey, forget those people. Let's go with the Illuminati. But I have Doug and Doug. I don't know what the hell does it mean. I've even looked at 13, the number thir at the 13. Oh, yeah. That was, that's what pulled me into their number chart. Surely it means something to him. Yeah, well, maybe. Doesn't have to mean anything. Um, I've just been trying to pull F symbolism. You're right, I just want him caught. Abby was a sweet girl. She didn't deserve this. Neither did, neither did Libby, is probably. Right. Yes, that's all. Exactly. Oh, good. A, a new Milani angle was just some random thought you had. Yes, that's all. Could be anything. Okay, good. I have a lot of friends. Same way. Da -da -da. Keep me posted. Right, there you go. So, anyways, that was about it there. And a couple. I think we had like this image was on there that I somebody had posted that one I didn't that's not my edit there yeah there were just ones back at the, back in the day I mean you know seven years ago those that whole thing all right any thoughts on that you guys any thoughts Well, I'm not still going at it. I came back on again. Having a Coke. My caffeine-free diet Coke. Well, it doesn't look like spatter, really. It looks like somebody's hand wiped on there. Mm -hmm. I had those really cool images. I don't know where they are right now, the F-tree images, but... Uh, uh, Remember those ones that I did that you could just absolutely see every bit of it? Yeah. Okay, well, what's something else? So how about we look at some of, th this video right here is a good one. Yeah, we were looking at that one earlier. So this is right on the other. This is right where Libby was standing in the video, like right here, exactly, same spot. And then Abby's walking on the bridge, and then gets behind. I think I lost my other audio. 
Say no to lulls, everybody. Say no to lulls. Okay, so uh, Bonnie had some really good images. Like this one right here is perfect. Like this, this, uh, well, this one right here is almost, I mean, like literally just about exactly. And what's so amazing is like, see, look, at you can see right there. Look at how that's damaged railroad tie. See that? I mean, that's how amazing it is if you have higher definition. So you back up and you're way over back here even. It looks just like some sort of white little nodule sitting there. See, like, you look at this picture right here. Let me see if you can see. It's pretty close. I mean, look at the even the angle of the railroad tie over here. It's very close, almost perfect. And see right, see right there, this spot. I think that's right here, right there. And then there's another dark one, which is right there, and then a really light one back here, which is that one. It's like it's like tree ring dating. Hey, thanks, Alley Cake, and look at that, Alley Go Rhythm was gifted a membership. <laughs> I have no idea what that what that says. Let me just check out this one. That's a good one too. Man, that's just a little too high maybe. I don't know, that's really good. Yeah. yeah right in there, that's the spot. So that's where you almost have to go back and find one of the original, because they had more data on them. I'm just looking for to have it sitting in here. That one? Yeah, see it's right there. That's what this... Yeah, it's just too hard to... I mean, I almost need the original, original... I'm gonna see if I can find one just sitting around. Then you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. And some people go, oh great, he, he doesn't keep talking right now, so I gotta go. I gotta go find a conspiracy theorist really quick. All right, let me see if I can, this one. Like see, that, that one's amazing because it's, uh, you can see more in it. So you see how that one it comes over like this and then up. I think that's right like in the, right in this spot right here. It's just a little it's a different angle though. And then look, there's the little white thing that's behind his leg there. There's the platform which is right there and there's the full fork tree right here, see? Boom. Very similar in that one the distances between like for example the platform and the white little nodule thing is very similar and so that, that one's really good it's just at a different angle i mean here's what we could do let's just do this really fast here right i'm gonna open up uh photoshop pull that in and i'll overlay that other image over there and see if we can just slide it right into where the uh, all right, let, me, let me just grab like let's see about this much here
that and let's get this thing one of the original shots here and then edit yeah Okay, I'm gonna make it uh, like opacity kind of so you can see through it. Now you can see now the fork tree over there. Look at the lining on that. So maybe I need to, uh, looks like I need to rotate it a little bit. Transform, rotate. So it's like right in there. And look how crazy, look at that. That's just nuts right there. <laughs> uh, let's see what happens if I... So it's gotta be fixed a little bit here. But look at the white nodules even right there. But look at the, uh, like for example, see how there's that white line back here? That's this one, see? See, it's like tree ring dating. These lines match up, see? You go like about like light like this. So that's how you know it's a little different angle slightly. But it's right there. I don't know why I get, like for me, that's, that's kind of like exciting stuff, you know? Right there. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty good. And look at look out look at this craziness. Look at the branches up here almost exactly right on too. That's really hard to get that. Look at but watch, they're right there. Very close in there. Man, that's nuts. And look at that. Boom, 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 boom. Now the white, I think this needs to be smaller or something. It's weird. Because the, I think it needs to. Let's see, does that work? Yeah. I don't know. It was working a little bit better when it was bigger, but that's crazy though, isn't it? Yeah, but mainly what it's cool to look at is look at the lines right here. That light line is right there. And this one is right in, in here. I think it's this one. And this one is right there. See a little crook in there? That's what that is. Um, so I think that would probably mean that the camera's over a little bit more to the right. And everything that we just saw, the camera is about another foot to the right. Well, thanks. I mean, isn't that super chat worthy there, Esther? I mean, you got to admit, like, that's pretty. <laughs> There's Gray again. Selling. He's selling. He's a. He's just trying to get the The funds into the show for, because we're right there. Today is the 29th. Yeah, so let's keep this guy here and get rid of the background for a second. I'm going to see what, what one of those other photographs that were in there. This is what we were doing earlier. But I just want to get another look here. So these are images. Maybe a little bit more like this one. This one right here. That might be a little low, but man, maybe that's good. You know, This is like a, a good spot. So let's try this. Can I keep zooming in like that? Like that. Guess not. Mm -hmm. 
Oh man, where where did, where did I put it? Oh, there it is. Hmm. There it comes. I can see it showing up into the screen. <laughs> I said, wasn't that super chat worthy, Cindy? And not one came in. <whistles> Very disappointing. And I said, apparently not. Okay, look at that one. Ooh. Man, but right up there, it's like, that's probably right here, I think. Like right in that area. Probably right there, right? So what does that mean? Does that mean I have to make this bigger? Let me let me try this. Hey, thanks, Sherry Davis. There you go. See? Somebody thought so. I mean I know it's old hat for the freaks, you know, so for them it's like, yeah, yeah, great, we've you know we see you do this kind of stuff all the time, so Well, thanks, Glow from Cold. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, you know, that's, that's hard to do this one because now the angle is different. The other one was probably pretty good. You know, that one, let's see. So if I try to get these so the lines are the same, about like that, see how the, the side railing isn't the same? It's like a... It, it's too much uh, rotated. The other one was really close. I mean, it was right on. So I think it's like another foot inside to the left here. But anyways, really what I'm trying to show you is look out. See, there's a, that line right there that goes all the way across, the really light one. Doesn't everybody agree that that's this one? It has to be, right? I mean, look where the location is to the fork tree, that light line. It's like tree ring dating is right there. That's this one. Then... Then he, I think this dark line is this one, and this one is there. So you even see how it goes like this and then up? Look right here. It goes like that and right like that. So he's almost on that one. He's almost on that one right there. <clears throat> All right. Anyways, so there you go. You know, that's, that's, uh, that's the kind of stuff I was doing early on, trying to figure stuff out. This one's way too high up in the air, obviously. You can't even see. So again... That's the damaged railroad tie. Notice how when you're up too high, even just standing there, you cannot see that. So uh, Beth actually is the one that noticed that because she was there. She goes, you know, you can only see that white thing if you're down low. And that's when we realized that she was off the end of the bridge and holding it low. And then that means the camera was just maybe a foot or two off the, the bridge height. See, now you can see it when you're down low. And let's check this one out. This is that crazy no stabilization, but this is the full bridge here. See? Now watch this. This will be kind of interesting. So when it gets over here, this is where Libby took the photograph. They were just walking. So just kind of picture this is what it looked like. They're walking. Here's platform three. Abby's behind her. Then Libby gets on the platform three here, turns around, and at some point... Let's see, about probably right. Let's see when I could pause it. Maybe right in there. Took a photograph of Abby. And if we go back to the previous screenshot, here is that the image right here. See, look at that. Isn't that crazy? So that's that shot. Just a slightly different. Let me see if I can maybe try to find one where it's. Maybe like right there, okay? So you pull it out, look at that. There's that platform. Now, this is an extremely high, uh, you know, what do you call it? Um, wide angle lens here, so it gets really small in the distance. 
but they're standing on the same platform. Uh, you can see everything's the same if you come over here. Um, and, and here's the thing, I think in the actual photograph, she's standing in the middle of the platform or the end of it towards the other side. And in this photograph, she's right at the beginning of the platform. But see right there, this damaged railroad tie right here, that look right here, that's right here, see. So her foot, her right foot is on this railroad tie right there. And her left foot is on this one. Okay, so we, we actually were able to figure out exact stuff in this case. Hey, thank you, uh, Mama Lion. And thank you, Phil. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't know, Phil. I'm already, I'm already taken, man. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, and uh, uh, another thing that's sort of the thing that you want to look at in this picture here is there's absolutely nobody back there. That's the uh, that's part right here is just a now that's Bigfoot right there. I don't know if you can tell, but that's even the Roger Roger Patterson Bigfoot. See the left the right arm swinging back. He's turning his head there. Um, never saw that before, and now I'm intrigued. This guy is like. It's got to be it. Look, I'm not kidding you. I mean, it's li literally the same thing. Look at, look at this. Are you kidding me? It's the same. It's exactly the same. It is Bigfoot. I mean, it's literally exactly the same. I know what I think I have to catch. I got to keep that image for a, uh, a new emoji. I mean, look at that. That is incredible, everybody. Whew. Wow. See that, the head right there, the arm swinging out, this arm going back. I mean, you gotta admit, that's pretty crazy. Yeah. Except he happens to be 40 feet up in the tree. Oh well, not sure how that could have happened. Anyways, right over here is the barrier that people always say, look, that's a person. I remember when 48 hours, not 48 hours, what's that, Inside Edition, they go, is that a person behind Abby on the bridge? No, clown, it's metal. <laughs> it's actually metal, you fool. Uh, you might want to refer to the Bigfoot floating up in the sky there, though. Uh, all right, now, they also said that this right over here was a person. That was behind this tree. It turns out it's a branch. Okay. <laughs> all right, everybody. In fact, this actually shows it. Even though it's not even clear, you, you go over to here, and you can still see that little thing sticking out right there. All right. Man, really sleuthy stuff going on out there, you guys. Unbelievable. Boy, you just watch some of these new, new YouTubers covering Delphi. They are all on top of it, you guys. They've got it nailed. They've got it all figured out. It's... Richard Allen's not the guy. It's some random Odinist out there. Richard Allen's their best friend. I mean, as a matter of fact, they'd all want to spend the evening with Richard Allen, maybe have a beer and play some pool. Unfortunately, he'll be wearing the same clothes that he killed the girls with when he's playing pool, you idiots. All right. <clears throat> Gray, that's not very nice. Why can't they watch whatever they want without you saying something? Uh, because I, I want to, you get it? I mean, I can say whatever I want to, right? I mean, if you're that stupid and you believe that stuff, then you go ahead and do it, all right? That's not cool, Gray. That's just not cool. My mom said, okay, whoa. <laughs> Who cares what your mom said? Hey, Gray, who are you talking to? Uh, just the... the person in my mind that I'm trying to have a conversation with, uh, a, a make-believe troll. Or they're not really make-believe because they exist. They really think the things that I'm saying. Uh, anyway, so there it is right there, and then she turns around and walks all the way across the bridge. All right, now when going across, what do you think this is right here? This grouping of trees. What do you think this is? So this will give you a perspective of how crazy the bridge guy image is. 
Thanks, 1L Michelle. Let me guess, your name only has one L in it? <laughs> Boy, I'm a super sleuth right up there with those Delphi people. So what this right here, guess what this is, you guys? This is the F the um yeah, the F tree. Isn't that weird that we had an F tree? And then there's an F later. But anyways, the um so the F tree that's behind him right here. That right there is that see right here where it goes like that and then up right there? That's what this is right here in this image. It goes uh right there and then oh this is the bottom part. Uh, actually, it's right here, right there, and then up, and then there's another branch. See, what's weird about it is, is how far back it is, because this is where the F tree is, right? The platform that's behind the guy, see that one right there? That's coming up, that's that one. It's right there. So that's the platform behind him. Then the damaged railroad ties are right there. That's the little white nodule by his foot. Okay, see that right there, that little destroyed part portion? And then he is standing, and these are those, right here is where he's standing in the video. So he's literally about right here. Okay, this is where he is, and Abby's in front of him a bit, and Libby's standing right here at the end of the bridge. Does that make sense now when I showed it backwards? But what's weird about it is when you look at this, you think, oh yeah, it's right behind him, and there's that tree. That, that's like... 200 feet behind him. It's way back there. Hey, thanks, Heather N. So that's way back there. If I could turn around, I'd show you. But if I, let me just go back this way again. That's the platform. That's behind him. The, all these trees, especially these ones, that's what makes up the F tree behind him. So you go all the way to here. Then you have to go way up here just to get to that little white nodule part on the ground that makes that little white dot next to his leg, looks like it's next to his leg, but it's way behind him, because he's actually about right here. Isn't that amazing? See what you get on this channel, you guys? But yeah, the defense team might be bringing up Bigfoot now. They've gone with every other theory. You know, the fact that they went with Odinus is, uh, should tell you that they might very soon go with the Bigfoot theory. We just had a great sighting of them a minute ago. All right, so you got that one, and here. And by the way, the other photograph. Let me show you this. Witness, I'll open see. that video back up again. Let me go back to that. It's probably better actually with. Uh, who, who did that one? Oh yeah, no, this was the original walk to the bridge. So what's crazy is about right here is when the girls pass Betsy Blair, then they continue to walk this direction, probably right here, right? Then they continue to walk down the trail and in front of them down there on platform one is Richard Allen. Then he walks by them probably about right here and they continue on and they go out onto the bridge. Okay. I'm just looking for a, this other video that I have. Oh yeah, now look at this is a stuff, an image that I made a long time ago. Isn't that crazy? I just took the one of her and like that looks like like he's on he's back there, but I bet she's a little bit further back a little bit, but he's going quickly, she's not. And then he comes up in that little portion uh, of her you could see on the edge of the video there. That's what I was wondering, you know. Just like that. Um, and this is the other photograph that was taken on the bridge. And using that, I think Bonnie had a really clear video. Let me see if that's in here. Maybe this one. No, that's not it. Okay, they had these really insanely clear videos that they did. And that's not it either. Let me see if I can find that really fast. I think I know where it is. 
She did, they did this one with uh, like a drone camera. You guys finding this interesting tonight? A lot of different kind of stuff from a long time ago. This one's really clear. They were measuring everything, so we got our, all the different measurements. Okay, is it this one? That's yeah, still on that side. And yep, that's that one again. The fish eye. Hmm. Okay, so it's not that one. <clears throat> well, I guess we could use that one. Hold on, let me go back. That's what I was actually looking for. So I'm going to use this one. Now watch this. So he's going to cross. And there's the platform one. They do some measuring. And I think they continue on a little bit. So here we go. I can see it usually when I'm going. Now that's two up there, right? Yeah. Okay. Almost there. That's platform two. And then she's going to turn around here. Ah. Okay. Might miss it. Turn a little bit, turn, 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 turn. That's what it looks like though. Look how clear it is that time of year. Hmm. Yeah, that little vine, I think she kind of like passed it. Turned around before you could see it. So we're gonna have to find a different one maybe the uh, is it this one oh, that's on the other side just looking for this this one that goes all the way across Oh yeah, wow, that's on that side of the bridge. Look at that. <laughs> this one's so clear. You can see the damage right there. That's the nodule. They're on platform six there. Very clear video. Now that was walking the other direction. That's what it used to look out there, look like. I guess we could show you where the bench is that maybe that photograph was taken. So right up there, see that bench? I think that's where the 126 image was. Now there's another bench up there a little bit further. You can see it right up there, kind of a dark spot on the edge of the, right there. If I hit pause, there's another bench. So I think that actually might be the one right there. So that might be the bench at 126 with the four girls. No, not that one. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure why I can't find the one where they're just uh, walking. Maybe it's, is it in that one? No. Oh, well, maybe I need to go back to my other file folder from the night.
Okay, I think this is it. So I was walking across. Pat, once there's platform three, that's two. And notice how she's walking kind of slow. Because she's looking for it. I see it right there. Right there. I don't know if you can see it, but <laughs> let me hit pause. Right there, that little vine that goes like right there. That's what I've been looking for. So it's right here, look. That vine right there is this one. And everything else is the same too. Watch the, uh, see right there the damage, that little curl right there, it's right here, inside of there. So that's where that photograph was taken. Why are you saying 70 feet? He was only about, from the end of the bridge, he's about 60 feet. The bridge is like, yeah, brown 70, high, if that's what you're talking about. But anyways, this is where that photograph was taken, right in that, right next to that vine right there. So maybe even a little bit further, you know, like she actually paused and then you can see everything else is the same too. Bye, Shane. You will not be um, joining us for the rest of your life. All right, see you later. <clears throat> see, anybody that's that, like that uh, blatantly or brazenly rude, it's just, bye, you know. Uh, I don't have time for you, man. Good luck. Have fun somewhere else, buddy. So you got that. This is, this is kind of like we're just going through all this old stuff that we used to go through. And then, what else? All right. So not too long ago, we did this, uh, you know, like if, if it was Richard Allen or not on the bridge. I mean, for me, the guy looks exactly like Richard Allen does. And I'll show you why I think that. I mean, I, first of all, I have this photograph or an image that I put together. If I can open it up here. So you see how the, the body is really like almost identical here. I mean, it's exactly the same, really. See that? I mean, you can, I did a video where you can roll this over and it's exactly the same. Shoulders are in the same spot. Everything's the same. The legs, uh, sort of shorter legs, longer torso. And then this is a picture of him when he's playing pool. And I actually think that this hat might be what he's wearing here. And it looks like it's a hoodie going back, but it's really just that hat. Because when he was asked, he said, I was wearing some sort of head covering. If you're wearing a hoodie, you would just say I, was, I had a hoodie on. He said he had a hoodie. He was wearing a hoodie, but some sort of head covering. Right? So I think it's very possible that he's wearing this hat um, in this image here. Let's see... It's not even complicated, actually. It's and so I know, but we have to sit here and keep solving it because if you don't keep the counter, uh, oh, guess what, everybody? I'm going to be charged after the case, and you know what I'm going to be charged with, everybody? Conspiracy with Becky to come up with a an altered timeline. I mean, these people are so stupid. Okay. Yeah, I mean, o over the year, uh, we were like, okay, we came up with, uh, I, I asked her, I go, hey, so what is your, you know, what time did they get dropped off? And he goes, well, she was talking to her boyfriend at 137, so we think that's the time. Well, you know what? Maybe she started talking to her boyfriend while she was driving and got there at exactly, the, you know, 10 minutes later at 147 or 49, whatever the hell it was. Yeah, 149, I think. And so what if you're off by a few minutes? It's just, that's what the memory was. And then 314, Derek gets there. At least somebody was out there trying to put something out there for people to be interested in, okay? Just because it didn't match your idiotic belief and what you think it is. I mean, does anybody consider that like you're plotting and planning? <laughs> and why would you need to change the timeline? Who does it help? It didn't help anybody. 
It was just off by uh, about 9 or 11 minutes or something. Who gives a shit, okay? Uh, why don't you get mad at the news who said that they were, the girls were dropped off at 1? Why don't you go, oh, my God, it's, all, it's a media cover-up, everybody. The media conspired with the, the family and changed the timeline. Yeah, you never do that, do you? You guys are um, idiots, okay? And literally, like, technically idiots. Not like, oh, you know, he's just calling it. You are technically dumb as a box of rocks, okay? There's no salvation. You are literally uh, dumb people. Gosh, Gray, that isn't nice, man. I came here for... Well, then I'm not talking to you, unless you're one of the idiots, okay? Thank you very much. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, wait, uh, hold on a second. I got to check something. I think I just got a message from uh, uh, that case we were talking about last night. I got to read this really fast. Wow, got a whole bunch. Whoa, holy shit, like 50 voice messages. How do I... Ah, crap. I want to listen to them. Yeah, so the uh, the actual girl, you know, the girlfriend from yesterday, she sent me some messages. I'll have to go read them later. The, the, where the party was in that case that we talked about last night. What is what picture of? What are you talking about? This is the uh, this is the uh, the bridge. You know, that's the southeast end of the bridge there. So a million times, no one knows Delphi like me. That's right, that's right. Well, you guys were about 50% of the goal. So if you're out there and you can help support the channel, that'd be fantastic. Uh, we got to try to get some momentum going into the end of the month here. Now look at this right here. I took these from his bull, uh, like not bull. <laughs> he seems like a bowler though. When he was playing pool, I just want you to like, you just... I know this isn't like the greatest thing in the world because it's blurry, but just kind of like squint your eyes and look at the shape of the face. Like literally squint your eyes and specifically look at this one and this one. And you can, it's just, it's him, man. It's, it's not Ron Logan, you guys. That's him. This one happened to be blurry while he's playing pool. And look at this hat right there. Doesn't that look similar to this? It's the same color and everything. It even sticks out over his eyes, and it's a like a stocking cap kind of thing. I think this hat is what he's wearing in this image right here, because he said he was wearing some sort of uh, head covering. He didn't say he was wearing uh, anything. He didn't say he was wearing like um, no, like oh, I had a baseball cap on. You would remember that, right? Oh, I had a hoodie on. Oh, you'd call it a hoodie. But a hat like that, you don't might not necessarily know exactly what to call it right away. Thanks, Jill Downey. Appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, I have zero doubt, but just look at this right here. Like literally, uh, you, how big do you want me to make it on the screen? Like, just like that. Now squint your eyes and just look for shape, you know? Just like, kind of like look for shape there. You know, the nose, the cheek, he's got the goatee on. Man, I, I tell you what, <laughs> it's just, I, I, uh, to me, it's him, okay? And yeah, I know it's him, too, right? Absolutely know it's him. And let me show you again. I'm going to do the, uh, for those that are here that don't normally watch the show, they're wondering why, you know, they're believing all the crazy crap that they're seeing on some of these other places that is some wa wacky Odinist uh, theory. I'm going to show you the... The animation so far again 
in the probable cause. And I think it's important for you to see it. And then we still have other stuff to go through in terms of like documents or not documents, but like things that I've had over the years. So hold on. This is one I'm working on now. Kind of stalled out a little bit. I got really busy on some other uh, cases. There it was. Right there. He admitted it. He looks like the guy physically. His There was a bullet ejected from a gun that matched his gun. And he places himself there and there's no escape from it. He's, he, he is the guy. So those three girls, here it is, watch. Here's the three girls. This is like 1243. And they walked this way and they didn't see anybody. So that means there isn't a person there yet. They're already at the bridge. They walk this way. There's no guy that looks like the bridge guy. Then they go to this bench over here. And they sit there. And right there. So right around this time, look at this. Here comes Richard Allen's black Ford Fiesta, right? And he drives around. And look it. He's going to drive over here and park at the abandoned CPS building. He drove right by this camera at uh, 127 and the girls were taking that picture at 126 so he parks here and here we go he gets out of the car and he walks on this trail right here this little path that takes you right onto the freedom bridge over here now look at those three girls you know they're just kind of hanging out talking they're not trying to get somewhere right that's why it took them you know they're 12 43 at the bridge and then 120 seven over here i mean that's 45 minutes later 126 i mean so here they go they're walking this way and as they're leaving finally they pass an individual that they described a little differently one said all black one said jeans jean jacket light blue jacket light, you know but they all saw one person and richard allen admitted to seeing the same people and he passes them right in this area then those girls probably, you know, they were still just trying to hang it out, talking, probably a little extra there. And then Richard Allen's walking this direction. And so we'll get to the point. So he makes it, let's just have him go. There he is in blue. He's going to make his way all the way down. He's still, he's walking like this. He's making his way down there. And then here comes those three girls. They're walking this direction. They're still over here. He makes his way to the bridge and gets on platform one. He's over there looking at fish. Okay, so here goes those three girls. And this is all sped up um, like five times. Here comes Betsy Blair. I'll have, to, I'll, I'll have to put something on there for her to go underneath there. Then Betsy Blair drives up over here and around. And then she comes around. And then she'll make it all the way over to the parking area over here. So look at there's Richard Allen. He's on platform one. And here comes Betsy Blair. She pulls in over here. It takes 10 minutes. So he got there at about 144. Betsy Blair got pulled in, into here at 147 ish. And then she gets out and starts walking this way. She didn't pass Richard Allen or anybody over here. He hadn't left yet. He's still there. That proves that he's still sitting there. He would have had to run to get past her. Now look at that. That's Abby and Libby being dropped off by Kelsey at 149. Now look at, they're walking, but they're not in a hurry either. They're just walking kind of slowly. You know, she's exercising. Betsy Blair is, right? So they're just here like, hey, taking pictures. They're just, you know, lollygagging around, as my mom would say. And they make it to the path. And look at here's Betsy Blair. And Richard Allen's still sitting here. Unless you think that he magically ran into the woods and another person wearing the exact clothing came out of the woods. So there's Abby and Libby. And here is Betsy Blair. She gets to right here at the start of the bridge and turns around but sees him standing on platform one, which is 50 feet away. So here, he, here she goes. She turns around. 
And she goes back this direction. And here comes Abby and Libby. Have a blessed Easter freaks, praying gesture, Ty Gray, mods, freaks. And this is Betsy Blair, Abby and Libby, and she passed them on the way back, halfway back to the parking area. And then Abby and Libby keep going this way. Now, I believe Betsy Blair continued all the way over here, went to the uh, Freedom Bridge and back. The timing works perfectly on Google Maps where she gets back over here at about uh, 2 uh, 14. She gets she drives by the abandoned uh, this um, what's it called the Hoosier Harvest store right there. So there she goes. She's walking this direction and here comes Abby and Libby. I'll just speed it up a little bit. So they're, they're over here. Now this is what I think happened. I think that he sees them coming and might have been a little bit before this or not, but he sees them. And before they get on the bridge, he doesn't want to freak them out and not so that they don't go on the bridge. He goes past them and goes the other direction so they feel comfortable, but maybe said something like, hey, you know, said something to him. Right? And then they went out on the bridge. All right? Now look over here. Uh, she's still going over here. This is Betsy Blair, makes her way to the Freedom Bridge, and she's walking back. And at this point, it's only Betsy Blair's car parked there because Kelsey drove away after dropping him off. Uh, I gotta hit play again. And here comes, there's the girls right there. They just plat pass platform two. They take a photograph right there, one of them. And then here's platform three. This is when Libby go, goes out on the platform and takes a picture of Abby back that direction, right? Then they continue on. Now, it's probably around this time where he starts thinking, okay, I can make my move now. I can make my move. And there's Betsy Blair. She's walking like this. Here he goes. Now, he's going to make his way across the bridge really, really quickly. And again, you guys, let's... Going to need some support for the channel tonight, you guys. Thank you very much. And here he goes across the bridge quickly, making up ground on him dramatically. Uh, and here's Betsy Blair. There's her car. She's just, you know, on a longer walk. And now look at him. He's making his way. He's catching up to them. And then he catches up to them right at 2.13. And Betsy Blair is over here making her way back to the car. And here he comes, and then look it up here. There's Betsy Blair getting, she just got into her car, and then pulls forward, backs out, and drives away, and then right over here, he's, he's gonna tell them down the hill, and Betsy Blair is leaving the area. And at this moment, there isn't a soul in the park, not a soul, other than these three, um, Richard Allen and Abby and Libby. There's no chance that he could have left. The girls, the three girls clear the area. Betsy Blair clears the area, walking down the path and back. Clears the area. They didn't see anybody else that looked like Richard Allen. And here we are. Mm -hmm. So isn't this crazy, you guys? And then... You know, let's just speed this part up. He brings them across, and they're down there, and there isn't anybody around. Now, at a certain point in this time frame, that's when uh, Cheyenne and some other people start showing up, right? But then it isn't until later when Derek... So this must be... Right now it's about 3.15. See the blue car up here at the top? I don't know what his car color was. I'm just using it. And he shows up at 3.15. And that's kind of where I have it. That's where I've ended so far. He shows up at 3.15 in parks, and he gets out, and he ends up walking down here and back up. I mean, it's really crazy because when Derek was there, there was just a couple, like Cheyenne and her two friends, and then the flannel shirt guy were there, and Derek. But nobody was aware that Abby and Libby and Richard Allen were over here in this area.
Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, it's just so obvious, you guys. Richard Allen admits to seeing the three girls. So you, you explain to me how after he passes those three girls and admits to then going straight to platform one, it takes 10 minutes. He would have got there at 144. And Betsy Blair got here at 147 or 148. And it takes six minutes to walk from here to here. So when she got out of her car, he'd have to sprint almost to get past her this way. But he said he was there until 3.30. So forget it. She got out of her car and started walking this direction. And he's still sitting there. So that means at probably 53 or 54 after, he's standing on platform one. That means he's only there for seven minutes. Do you, do you only look at fish for one minute or 30 seconds and then turn around and run? No way. So he's right there. And then he's locked in, you guys. He's absolutely locked in because Betsy Blair sees him and then turns around and never sees him again. So that means even when she walks this direction and back to the car, that means he isn't back to this area yet after he was here. So what are, you, what are we supposed to believe? That after this, he came over here and then some other guy wearing his exact same clothing came out of the woods and stood there. Yeah, come on. Plus, it's not even the time because nobody else saw anybody. There was multiple other people there. They didn't see anybody. Thank Gene Salzman. Man, I, 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 I'm not sure where all the normal freaks are tonight, man. It's like... And then that's it. She turns around and leaves. And Abby and Libby, the next people person that Abby and Libby are going to see. So you got to look at it like that. A, a key person is Betsy Blair. Because Betsy Blair gets out and clears the area. Doesn't see anybody. Oh, okay, there's a guy. Then she turns around and goes this way and passes Abby and Libby. So then who is Abby and Libby going to see next? It's going to be Richard Allen. It's not some ma imaginary dude or anything. Uh, the Richard Allen lovers cannot explain away this information right here. Okay, do you get it? Nobody can explain it away. Nobody does this better than Gray. Nobody at. Yeah, uh, nobody can explain this away right here. All right, you know, where are you, Richard Allen lovers, that can explain this situation? Oh, no, Gray, I think he really is. He really is the guy there. Uh, but, um, you know, he's not the one that said down the hill. He's the guy on the bridge, though. Okay, so he went across the bridge and there was another guy over there that said... Okay. <whistles> Ginger snaps. So, hey, let's open up those phone lines, you guys. Why the hell not, huh? Wait, I got I a couple more to do here. Let's see. So here's a witness thing. It says class and his friends with, and will now say nothing about it. I think it was one of the three girls, but she was talking at first as well, but independently they both mentioned the scarf over the lower part of the man's face. Wasn't that interesting? Maybe that's what that white part is in the bridge guy image. My friend spoke with him shortly afterwards. He said nothing about that. Uh, what may have been what may have been missed if it was just his pants, but he will see him at Christmas and will really question him now. The other witness is in his younger is in his younger brother's class and is friends with Kelsey. Right. I think I know that. And will now say nothing about all this, but she was talking at first. Uh, he saw him on the trail, not in the woods. So they're talking about seeing the actual bridge guy, right? He told my buddy he looked just like the pics. He didn't know what he had seen till the pics were released. I don't know of any guy that was there, though. So I don't know if that's... But that's what they all were saying anyway. He didn't know what he had seen till the pics were released, but that he... Had a white scarf that was... Oh, yeah, so this is the guy that was there at 315, a different person. 
this might actually be one of Cheyenne's friends, you know, because that was right when she was there at 315, right around 315. But I don't know. He wouldn't have been able to see the person, though. That's the thing. You know, that's that's the problem with that is like uh, and, and so here's another thing, too. One of the other of the three girls on I think it's Shakespeare's documentary says, oh, yeah, I, I think I saw him at like 230 or 215. But thank God that one of the girls took a picture and she's actually in that photograph at 126. I thank God that that exists because that's the real time. So they would have had to rely on somebody that didn't remember correctly. And then the defense would go, oh, see, look. Yeah. So, man, how do, we, how do we get things moving in here, you guys? It's just another one of these disappointing nights for no particular reason. What's going on? Where's the Skype one? I'm looking for the Skype. There it is. All right. All right, you guys. You guys, the experts out there, you Richard Allen lovers. <laughs> that gorgeous Richard Allen, who Gollum has nothing on, is just... Now, right, let's see what we got here. This is Gray. Who's this? Hi, Gray. This is CJ. Yeah, who, who, okay. What's going on? Hey, I just got a question for you watching your, your live here, what you're doing there. Um, what would you say to those who have done the exact same thing that you're doing right now except with Ron Logan? No, they're idiots. Yeah, it's not Ron Logan. It doesn't look like him, never been him, you know. But they're just really dumb people. Even though it it matches up exact same way as what you're no, but it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't line up exactly the same. Ron Logan looks nothing like the guy on the bridge. Okay, Uh, at zero, he's way taller. His stomach sticks way out. He looks nothing like him. So these people do it, and every time I look at it, I go, "What the hell are you talking about? It doesn't even look like him." They do it because they need it to be Ron Logan. They want you to believe it's like the uh, what do you call it? Those those people that do the, uh, like, uh, spirit boxes. They tell you what you want to hear, so you believe, oh, yeah, I do hear that. So then they go, look, that's Ron Logan. Look, 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 look. That's what they tell you, and, and then you sort of believe it because they, then you start talking about how he lied and did all these different things, and then you believe it. it. It's not Ron Logan. I mean, let the guy rest in peace, okay? Richard Allen, however, is the killer because he admitted doing it, he places himself there. He is trapped, technically, as being the guy on the bridge, and therefore it is him. That's why it looks like him. Isn't that weird? Yeah, it's strange, isn't it? Hello? So what would you say to any individual who is doing, they've done exactly what you are doing right now, lining themselves up identically as you just did, with Richard Allen. I haven't, I haven't seen that anybody do it. People. I haven't done it. Well, but the thing is, is I'm doing it with Richard Allen because he's the suspect that's been arrested and he looks just like him. His physical structure is exactly the same. That's, that's the difference. Is. I didn't, I didn't do go searching around and go, Oh, I think it's Ron Logan before there was ever an arrest made and start doing these things because I, I it's garbage, all that stuff. So this guy has been, <laughs> arrested, charged, he uh, has a bullet from the crime scene, he has confessed to multiple people, uh, he is, uh, the bullet was ejected from his gun, by the way, he is trapped at the crime scene based on his own words and information. So it is him, that's why it looks like him. Isn't that weird? So it's not gonna be Ron well, we Logan. Don't, you know, it's not gonna be Ron Logan. We don't, we, we don't have concrete proof that he put himself at the crime scene we do though he said he said he got timeline. there he said he got there at 1 30 and left at 3 30 then when he was, was questioned in october of 2022 he changed the story to 
12 to 130, which we know is a lie because he says when he got there, we do have concrete proof. Here, here's what it is. He said he got there at 130 originally, then changed it later. But when he got there, even in his original story, when he said he got there at 130, he passed three girls. Okay, he remembers passing three girls, and those three girls remember seeing him. They have a verified photograph at 126 taken as they were leaving, and that's when they saw him, and he says he saw the girls when he got there. So that is them, unless you believe there's another set of three girls out there that saw him, and then the other three girls saw a different individual wearing the exact same clothing at 130. Do you think that's reasonable logic? to think that I don't know what reasonable logic is anymore in this case but I do have this question for you you've shown this hat right you're showing this hat this beanie Mm -hmm. and I'll be fair to you that does look like it could be yeah that's my opinion that it's his hat yeah that's my opinion he said he wore he said he wore some sort of head covering that's what his wording was not not a hoodie not a baseball hat that head covering does look like it could be the same head covering in the bridge guy photo. Mm -hmm. But my question to you is this, if there was another individual who said I was out on the bridge that day, I killed the girls. Oh, and I spit on them and they have that same outfit on with that hat (laughs) and you put it. So you're actually, you're going over one of the Odin. You're going over one of the Odinist. No, it's not an Odinist theory. I didn't know. I don't know if Elvis Fields is an Odinist. I've just been told he's a dumbass. That's yeah, but, the only yeah. thing I've ever been told about that. Yeah, yeah, he has nothing to do with the, to do the, with the murders, though. That's what, they've already looked into him. That's why they knew he wasn't had nothing to do with the murders. So, uh, yeah, you I mean, you can talk about they, that they all the time. They never did a search warrant, to, as far as I'm aware. They, mm-hmm. Did they ever do a search warrant for him? I mean, he. My, yeah. all I'm getting at, Gray, is this. <laughs> you call everyone a Richard Allen apologist for just wanting more information. No, they're, they're not wanting more information. That's not time. what they're doing. They're not just wanting more information. That's not what they're looking for. They're out there actively trying to pretend that he's absolutely innocent, and we just want to look at these Odinist people. They're actually doing fundraisers because Richard Allen's innocent. Okay, it's, there's a big difference there. If you were just looking for other information, you would sound different. They don't do that. They're out there raising money for the innocent Richard Allen because it's really somebody else. They're, they're not looking for any other information that points towards Richard Allen. I, I guarantee it. They, well, they do Gray, not care. I, will, I would say this to you. As a veteran who believes in the Constitution, yeah. who gave up six years of their life well, to I protect get, that well, thank Constitution. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, he's innocent until oh, proven that. guilty. But, uh, but it has you know. nothing to do with him being innocent for the fundraiser. What it has to do with is a fight being fair. You yeah. or I would not get into the ring with Iron Mike Tyson because we're going to get our ass beat. Yeah, that's all it is, Gray. That's my opinion on the fundraiser. You can have your opinion on the fundraiser, but there are good people yeah. contributing to that fundraiser who don't give a shit about Richard Allen because we don't know him. But <laughs> when the state of Indiana yeah. gets two point one million dollars to prosecute a case and Richard yeah. Allen, well, let me ask you something. Do you think do you think somebody would give? Do you think somebody right. would give somebody um, money if they thought they were guilty? Like if, if anybody thought there have been people in this fundraiser uh, who do think he's guilty and have still contributed money. No, oh, that, that's that, that's ludicrous, man. That's a, that's embarrassing. I mean, if you thought somebody was guilty, if you're this were give a case money. like Adam Montgomery, mm-hmm. I bet the fundraiser would not have met its goal because everybody knew Adam Montgomery was guilty. In this case, there is reasonable doubt. There, I don't see in any. my opinion. Yeah, no, in your opinion, see, that's what that's why that's where the difference is. I don't see reasonable doubt. At all. I, as a matter of fact, I just showed on the screen how it is him. He's the guy on the bridge. All right. Now, if there was somebody else with him at the crime scene, I don't know. Maybe there was somebody else, but he's definitely part of what happened. He's confessed. He, uh, you know, his. Uh, and if you believe the whole story about how he was crazy and abused, so he he confessed. Uh, that that means you're just a really gullible sucker. Okay, because everything was fine. And then he confessed to his wife, and the wife called the attorney, and miraculously he became crazy, drooling all over his shirt, chewing on paper, and now we can, oh, see, those are, that's a false confession now. Now, that's just garbage. Anybody that believes that, uh, uh, that means you want to believe it, and you want him to be, I mean, I guess it's okay to want somebody to be innocent. I mean, who, who wouldn't? Like, oh, wow, wouldn't that be great if he was innocent? 
but uh, he isn't. So. I want Richard Allen to be bridge guy. I want this to be over. Well, he is bridge guy, so be, be happy with that. The, yeah. I, I want to be shown the evidence, and just like you have your opinion that Photoshop can prove that for you, I have my opinion that the state needs to prove it beyond a reasonable doubt, and, it, and we are far from that by the legal definition. Uh-huh. But I appreciate you th- taking my call, Gray, so you have a good night. All right, have a good one. See ya. Yeah. Hey, guys, we need to uh, try to get to the goal. Look, we're not even, it's not even close again, all right? Right there. See that? Not even close. So if we can help support the channel like we used to always do, that'd be great. And we're getting close to the end of the month. I've already said it 15 times already. All right, thank you very much. Right, who the hell is calling in now? Tell me how uh, Richard Allen is not guilty uh, without bringing up your Odinist theory that is absolutely ludicrous, okay? Anybody. Come on, go ahead, sell it to me. I don't even know who that is that was calling in right there. <laughs> do you guys, do you know who that is, Lynn? <laughs> These people always call in and they, they try to go live when they do it, too. Thanks, wise child. Oh, well, geez, that's awesome. Thank you. In case you didn't know, CJ. Oh, I don't know. I've never heard of him before. He's, I'm sure he's uh, uh, that constantly bashed pro-prosecution facts and everything. Yeah, well, he's, you know. Uh, I don't I don't know who these people are. I don't really care. Usually what happens is you get these low rent YouTubers that got like a thousand subs and they try to get on the bigger channels and get their name out there. So everybody goes, yay, let me go check them out. It sucks. <laughs> okay. I watched one the other day. He looked like Adolf Hitler shaved side of his head. The only thing that was missing was the mustache trimmed in. He put a hat on like mine and glasses. Uh, just ridiculous things that he was saying. <laughs> I've never said anything like those things. And, you know, it's just people trying to cash in on somebody else's name. Yeah. But anyways, I don't know, you guys. I think we're just going to, this is gonna be, it might be another short night. This is, we're into my fifth hour and we haven't even, you know, it's, we, we're struggling again. Shouldn't be like this. Never used to be. Not sure why it's like that now. Well, he, he, I didn't, he didn't, he just got blown away when he was in here, right? He came in here and just got smoked. I mean, I literally just, you know, uh, went right through it. That's him. You know, he has no out. <laughs> you know, he's like, so, you know, he just wasted his time. Uh, looked like a chump, you know, had nothing other than, well, there's a lot of people donating to a person. They th- uh, let's, if you're somebody that donates to somebody you think is guilty, then you're an idiot. Okay, what a complete waste of money that is. That dumb shit that called in, Louise. Yeah, yeah, that that guy, right? Uh, like thirty bucks an hour. Eh, it's not that great, Tyler, because I give away uh, half of it, so you know it's pretty shitty. Now, just compared on the other old times, it's not good, you know, and it, it, it never does any good. Like, even if I say something now, it just sort of goes, wah, 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 wah. Yeah, now, it's not fair at all, Tyler. It's garbage. Hey, thanks, Joshua. Right. Yeah, so I, I see what I do is I take 33% of the entire gross income yeah, uh, generally, now that I, when I do the math, so if you just want to go like the gross income, 33%, I have to pay taxes too, right? So it's like I try to do as good as I can, and I've been working my ass off this month doing the videos to bring in extra ad revenue to try to get back up to some of the numbers we used to do, and this month uh, was way better than last month, okay? But I don't want it to sort of collapse right at the end of the month uh, because my goal is to give away 6500 this month. Okay, that's a big chunk there. Uh, last month was only four and then three and a half the month before that. And this will sort of make up for that. And that's the only way to do it. It's the only way to do it. 
anyways, uh, you know, I'm sorry it bugs you guys, but I shouldn't have to keep bringing it up because there's way too long, like 30 minutes gaps that never used to happen. And uh, not sure. I think some of the, you know, it's just sort of, maybe it's the time of year. Who the hell knows? Uh, let's see. But I guess her opinion is moot compared to every other family member, right? Who are you talking about, Louise? Are you just on some weird sort of bender? Yeah, of course he's innocent until proven guilty. I think he's guilty as hell, Louise. It doesn't matter that Anna said that she thinks he's innocent until proven guilty. Everybody thinks that, okay? But I believe he's guilty, and I'm going to say that. I think he is the killer. He is the guy. So I, you know what I can't stand is when somebody goes, I think Richard Allen's the killer, and people say, um, well, it's innocent until proven guilty. Right, he's innocent until proven guilty. I think he's guilty right now. Yeah, well, how do, we, how do we know that Richard Allen is one of the phones that was pinging? I mean, there's three. He, uh, Cheyenne had two friends there, so there was her and two other people. So I don't know that. I don't know the answer to that one. Thanks, Kathy Chapin. <laughs> I mean, no more, uh, what do you call it? Uh, I'm going to say avocados. We haven't had those in a while. Not one today, as a matter of fact. Let's see. Let me get the... Uh, go through some of these other images here. Oh, yeah. So this is one of the ones that... So that's one, that's one of, I think this is one of Libby's Nike shoes that was found in the, right next to the, the stream, right? So these are all been out here. It's right next to the stream, and her other shoe was found underneath, um, I think it was Abby, right? Underneath her. So the, they're, both shoes are accounted for. There wasn't some shoe fetish. Yeah, they all, they all do that, Sirius Black. People like CJ, they're just the scum of YouTube who steals shit, just like uh, a sort of a bigger YouTuber who stole steals my shit every single case, you know, and tries to claim it as his own. Happens every single time. It's just, you know, it gets really frustrating on YouTube, right? It's just one of those things where people have no uh, morals, you know. It's just the way it is. It's terrible. It's not, it's, uh, you know, it used to be where there was like a few people doing this stuff. Now everybody's trying to jump in and they steal people's stuff so they can get, get a foothold and then they claim it was theirs. And what happens to them is they die out because they're terrible. And when you cover a different case, they don't know what the hell they're doing. They can only get that one case in. And like, don't you think it's crazy too? Like, you know the people that do run around and live stream? They live stream uh, at crime scenes and everything. And then there's other YouTubers that stream their stream as if it's their own and sit there and talk about it the whole time. <laughs> what, what the hell is that? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. Where, where are we at right now? We're at 176. So if we get to 200... I will donate five memberships, okay? But man, I, this is, we're already getting into our, my sixth hour on the, sh today. And we, we're not, it's like, that's, that's a tough day right there. Like, for example, today's total revenue is less than normally like a two and a half to three hour show. And man, I, th I thought today's show was, had a lot of great stuff in it, you know? Like, it was really... Good stuff. Yeah, I'm on because I was on earlier for three. Now I'm on to two hours and one minute. So I'm into the sixth hour. Yeah. 
So, man, that makes it tough, you know. Which one is this? Oh, yeah, that was that's the good one. But man, I, I just think that... <laughs> God, I don't know. Look, Richard Allen lives right here. He lives right near the crime scene. He's been there multiple times. He has a daughter that looks similar physically to Libby. The daughter has pictures wearing Libby's tie-dye shirts laying on a bed. There's another picture of her on the front of the bridge laying there. A daughter that got engaged like literally a month or so, two months before the murders. And then you have Richard Allen going out to the bridge. He said he was there from 1.30 to 3.30. He likely came forward because he saw his picture on the news on the bridge and he had also passed three girls that might recognize him because he works at CVS Pharmacy. So when the girls saw him, at, uh, saw him, he thought, oh man, they might recognize me. So then he calls the tip line and also, I don't know exactly the timing in compared to the photograph, so let's just say it's the three girls uh, that he called uh, he he just wanted to get ahead of it, so he goes, yeah, yeah, you know, I was there from, uh, yeah, one thirty to three thirty, yep. And then he, uh, you know, he he says that, and then it got Dan Doolin took the notes, and it just sort of got lost, you know, like it didn't make it to the right people. And for all those years, he wastes away. He literally looks physically different, um, even up to the time he was arrested. Like you see him in that car when his wife sort of surprises him. He looks just like he does now. There's no difference whatsoever. And then he, you know, uh, when we start getting all the information out, people saw him there. They didn't know who he was, you know. They just saw him there multiple times. You know, like the three girls saw him, Betsy Blair saw him. And, you know, the Sarah Carbaugh thing, I don't even care if it's real or anything. It just, Sarah Carbaugh is, is meaningless to me. Here, here's what I know, is the probable cause, when you look at it the way it really is, it proves that Richard Allen is the guy on the bridge. When Richard Allen describes himself, he describes himself as wearing jeans, a black or dark blue Carhartt jacket with, um, I think he might have said like something like a, a hoodie and some sort of head covering. I mean, it's like, that's him. <laughs> I mean, it's you. I mean, you, 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 not only that, you, the timing put, puts you there. Because it takes, I mean, just look at it again. I, I want people to get this part. He, at 127, he drives by here. I'm just saying he gets here at 134. That's totally reasonable. Seven minutes later, you know, parks and then whatever, you know, he might have sat there for a minute, gets out and he walks this way. And at 134, he passes the three girls going this way. That means it takes 10 minutes from there to walk to here. And that's walking pretty quick. So that puts him here at 144. And he goes out to platform one to look at fish. So he's going to look at fish for three, four, five, you know, whatever minutes, right? But Betsy Blair gets here at 147. So that means... It has to be him unless he went back this way and ran like a gazelle and he's already going this way. There's no chance, okay? So he, she gets out and walks this way. But you'd also have to believe, too, that after he took off and ran like a gazelle, another person showed up that looked exactly like him and stood on platform one. Although she described him as sort of younger, but look at it like this. She's 50 feet away. He's looking in another direction. That's what her memory is. When she saw the picture of the bridge guy, she said, yeah, that's the guy I saw. And now we, we can see in the picture, the guy's got a goatee, a graying beard, etc. right? So that means she did see him when she got over here. Then she turns around and leaves. He's still standing there by himself. Passes Abby and Libby. Abby and Libby, therefore, have to run into him. Then she walks Betsy Blair effectively clears the area again, walks all the way over here, turns around, comes back, does not see him again, and leaves. So that means Richard Allen is still in this area when Abby and Libby are there. And then, uh, you know, and then Abby and Libby go across, he falls across, boom, boom, boom. It's just so crystal clear. 
I don't understand the people that are confused by it. It's just one of those things. All right, seven more, and we got a some memberships. All right. Come on, you Odinus. Call in. <laughs> Explain to me how that's not Richard Allen on the bridge. Now, if you call in and say, well, I think it is him on the bridge. I, I, don't, I just don't think he acted alone. I can live with that. I can live with that. But if you're sitting here trying to tell me that Richard Allen didn't commit these crimes, then I think uh, you need a lobotomy. Now, he might be found not guilty because of all of the sales job that a lot of you wackos have been putting out there in the public. Hey, thanks, Dallas Rose. All right, so here we go. I did say if we get to 200, I'm going to give away five memberships. Probably all to Odinus. Can you guys believe that there's people out there that actually... Um, they make themselves available for memberships that are trolls so that they can steal them from people that really wanted to be a member. Isn't that terrible? All right, here we go. Got to open when it's it time for spring. Membership gifting. Five. There we go. Who else is going to get some memberships? Here we go. We got five. Do so I hear five, 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 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45? Hey, thank you up there to uh, Dallas Rose. Richard Allen is guilty. Same as Brian Koberger. Exactly. Except the same people that think Koberger is innocent are the same people. Oh, see, like, okay. We all know it, everybody. We all know that Richard Allen technically is innocent right now right because it's innocent until proven guilty okay i don't answer anonymous calls all right so i just block the anonymous calls again and they won't be able to get through i always like after the shows i'll sometimes i'll try to answer one but it's not happening uh, so who got them? Let's see. Tattoo you, uh, LJD3, Hello It's Me, My Michelle, Luxury, and Sharon Ostrander. For those of you out of those five that aren't trolls, welcome. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's yeah, true. Yeah. So everybody knows that he's innocent till proven guilty. But I don't believe he's innocent, and I have the right to say that, okay? I mean, the information that's out there, just like all of you have done in other cases, right? So all these, you know, high and mighty, you know, the virtue signaling, people that say, he's innocent till proven guilty. I bet you were right there saying Casey Anthony did it. You know, we all know that she did, but, uh, you know, she got off on it. Uh, the, you know. O.J. Simpson, you probably say, oh, God, why is he driving down the highway? You know, uh, you know, everybody knows and thinks these things, and they say those things. But when you want to be cool and neato with your newfound Richard Allen's innocent crew, the sort of us against the government, there's this big conspiracy. Oh, yeah. Then, of course... He's innocent till proven guilty, you bastard. Yeah. So, all right. Anyways, uh, what, do you, what do you guys got? What do you guys got? Who's calling in? Anybody can call in. I mean, you can call in about whatever the hell you want to call in about. The lines are open. It's Friday night, you know? It's Friday night. I didn't say they were involved in the murder, but they were at the at and around the scene of the who was powder packs? Nobody was. You're not talking about the Odinists, are you? 
Yeah, they were nowhere near the scene at the time. You know, somebody saw somebody that looked like one of them at eight in the morning on the private drive. That, that's not that's not around the side. That, you know, that's not around the time of the crime scene. Uh, the crime, right? Yeah. So somebody look at right here, you guys. Way over here, somebody saw somebody that looked like a guy named Elvis over here, right over in this area at like eight in the morning. And somehow you're going to tell me that's near the crime scene around the time? It's a joke. The drawing law enforcement did? No, oh, come on. Give me a break. You haven't seen anything. You heard a story somebody told you. Well, they had a drawing that showed that there were other people there. You mean the Cheyenne and her two friends that were on the bridge at 2.50 to 3.30-ish? Those, those people? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, though they were there. They had their phones on. They had nothing to do with the murders, though. They were on the bridge. They actually have photographs uh, that they took on the bridge had you watched the show earlier. Gosh, Gray, you're so arrogant the way you're talking. It's just... Uh, you need to be more accepting of the... Look, at, I'm just telling... This is how I feel right now. I know what I'm talking about. How about this? Uh, you know... So we do know that they're, hold on, let me, uh, I gotta text somebody. <laughs> oh, cool. Um, let me make sure something here, okay. Let's see. Let me see. I gotta see this. <laughs> yeah. So just think about it like this. Um, like Richard Allen is at the. He, he confessed to different witnesses. One of them was a psychologist. And I don't know. And you know. So yeah. And the thing is, is. This is just a rumor, okay? This is a rumor. You know, might be a decent rumor, but it's a rumor nevertheless, okay? So what if, you know, Richard Allen at the crime scene, when he told one of his psychologists that maybe he saw something specific while he was at the crime scene and why he sped things along and ran away. For example, what if he saw maybe uh, Kay Weber's son driving home in his van and told the psychologist that exact thing and it's shown that his van did show up exactly at that time. Wouldn't that be interesting? Wouldn't that be an interesting thing? Yeah. What if he said while he was at the crime scene he saw the van and he got nervous and he killed him and he ran away. And it happens to be Kay Weber's Sun, perhaps. Wouldn't that be crazy? <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't that be absolutely nuts if he actually had a specific fact that nobody else would really even know that he was telling the psychologist? Hmm. I think that'd be kind of interesting, wouldn't it? All right. Anyways, uh, Todd D. Brown is the knife in the sheath. Yeah, I don't know if we'll ever get to see the whole discovery. Uh, it might be a trial. I, you know, I don't know. I, you know, I'm. I hope we can just get the transcript. I'm going to try to get to it. Actually, be there and sit there and listen to it. But it'd be great someday to actually have the transcript, and then go over the entire every single word again at some point. But sometimes they seal. I don't know. Did they seal? I don't think they can. I don't think you can seal the transcripts. But maybe you can since they were little, you know, they were young kids. You gotta stop being so spot on. <laughs> yeah, I know, it sucks. Mr. Zeep. 
Well, the phone lines are open, everybody. Come on. Let's go. Tell us what you're thinking. Yeah, they're wide open for you. You can call. Oh, there's one right there. Hello, who's this? Oh, who's this? Got to turn down the hey, audio there, in the yeah. background. Hey, I just had another question. Wait, who is, who, is who is this? Who is this? Who is this? Who is this? This is who you just uh, spoke with. I wait, just wait, had who? Another question for wait, who you. is it? Who is it? This is who you literally just spoke with on the phone. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to talk to you again. Oh, yeah, see you later. Yeah, I figured it was the same dipshit that called in last time. All right, so who else is the... Um... <laughs> Who else is calling in? Anybody else out there? Yeah, I'm not talking to the same dipshit again. That, that guy's like, a, one of, he, you know what he is? He's one of those people that just kind of milks his way through, doesn't put in the hard work like everybody else does, you know? That's, that's what he is. Hello, who's this? Hello. Hello, Mr. Hughes. Hello, who's that? Where are you? Where are you? Uh, got an accent that I haven't heard before. <laughs> what is oh it? my word! You've heard me before. This is Ginger's Keys. Oh, Ginger's Keys. There you go. Yeah, sir. How are you this evening? Not too bad. Not too bad. Since you've done six hours and I've missed it, but I've been busy, so it's okay. Hey, freaks. Um. Yeah. My question is, will everybody hate me if I say this? Uh, what was will that? Will my freak family and me? Hey, I'm just, let me just, I guess I said, will re- everybody? Yeah, hold on one second. I can hear him. Okay. Prove the brown is not re- real. Yeah, I, I've told people this a million times, Todd. The, the brown that comes out below, it flattens out on his jeans, so it's not a fanny pack. I've I've thought, I've said this for five years, six years now. I don't know why people are still saying it's a fanny pack. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. What do you got? I don't want nobody to hate me because I'm not a hating person, and I respect everybody's opinion. But um, there's that butt word, and I won't say correct either. I, I don't even hate but, the CJ um, guy that called in. I just don't like him. I don't even know who the hell, you know, it's like uh, he's coming in here. He got just absolutely smoked in the conversation because they can't back up what they're saying. It's garbage, all right? And so oh, I can. Oh, I don't even pay attention yeah. to them. Uh-huh. They're just people I just can't hardly stand. I don't even watch any channel but this one. Uh, but what I wanted to say is I want everybody to just donate, even if it's a dollar <laughs> or two dollars or whatever oh, geez, do because yeah. between you and lanky tour every night you gift memberships where are these new people come on freaks yeah that's right where are, the, where are all the new Help members us out. i think a lot of them just Please, become I'm begging. well it's okay i mean like this month it was good because i had a lot of ad revenue Super Chats wasn't too bad. It just wasn't like, uh, you know, it, it was good throughout the month, and it just kind of went like that, you know. But that's all right. I mean, it's just kind of, oh, there's Lanky Tour again. <laughs> you call oh, her. my gosh. She is just <laughs> wonderful. She is uh, very generous. And every time and I get in, Wise Child is always right there. You know, you know what's cool about Lanky Donate. Tour is she's all, she always, um, doesn't matter where she is, she always says, great, you know, she's always complimentary and stuff somewhere. She's uh, I mean, she's awesome. So there you go. <laughs> Lanky she Tours is. is a... And there's Sozo. She's a sweetheart. She, yeah. Uh, every one of the mods are great. And I by love the way, them. Uh, I love them. Let me and say I... this. But why, why, after you brought Zozo's name up. So here's the thing. Like Zozo and Plato, and Cindy J helped out at the beginning. Uh, but basically, Zozo and Play Doh. Um, I we have a scholarship fund here, you guys. That's why we do I, we do all this stuff because we. Uh, put uh, $6,000 into a scholarship fund and have donated. uh, There's two scholarships that are for $3,000. And Zozo and Plato themselves went Mm -hmm. through, I think, I don't know, what is it, 800? I mean, it was just a ludicrous number of applications. They've whittled it down to, I think, 10 people. And I'm I'm just letting them do the whole thing. And, you know, I just trust each one of them is going to pick one of the winners after whittling it down. And, 
you know, we'll be giving uh, these students in the criminology or forensic world uh, scholarships. We're going to continue to do that every single uh, year now, hopefully, you know. I mean, it just depends <laughs> how things go, but uh, I want to do that. So there you go. I know you do, and, those and two, I want to help. And like I'm saying, those two people, work, yeah, and those two have worked so hard, though. Like, they've just, like, you know, the amount of reading that is, it's like Moby Dick three times, you know. All right, go exactly. ahead. Exactly. <laughs> and I'll watch you every night when I can, which is I come in late some nights because I'm helping out with some other stuff. And tax season has just, like, taken my money away. And I hate paying for Oh, that's okay. You what don't I've have to. Seen in I don't want somebody to ever send Illegal anything immigrant. in. Yeah. Well, the thing is, I don't want somebody to send anything in if it affects their life. Yeah, I don't. Not, I I'm not talking to any of those people. Yeah, it is. It is. There's a lot of people, and I'm trying to save four funds to get you out to Delphi. I'm going to do everything that I can. Oh no, you don't and have to do it. I, I can get out there on my own. You don't have to uh, do anything. I can do it. I'm gonna get out there. Well, but, while, but while I'm there, you guys, we're gonna have to, you know, boom, because I got hotels. I mean, of course, that's something I can just pay for myself too, but. I just gotta. I have to be there. You know, there's no, there's no way I can't do it. I gotta. I'm gonna try to get a permission where I have like, literally get to go. Like I have uh, every single day. There's no like where I have to wait in line. If I get lucky, you know, I gotta get something where I'm guaranteed. So we'll see how it goes. But yeah, we'll see. And I don't. I know we're gonna get you there one way or another. Even if we have to get you a private plane to drive to fly out there, <laughs> no, no. But we'll get you there. Yeah. But I also want to give a shout out to Jessica and Amber Maiden and Paulette. All, and I don't want to miss Plato or Jay Case. All the mods are just absolutely wonderful. Love them. I don't chit chat a lot in there. I'm not a chatter. I'm usually busy as I watch and listen and try to read. And Cindy J, she's just sweet. Everybody is just so sweet, <laughs> and I appreciate all of you. I love you, Gray. I love you, Mods. I love the freaks. I just can't say enough, and I appreciate each and every one of you. And please, new members, when you get the, I don't know, there may be just, you know, troublemakers. I don't know. But, you know, if you join and if you could just give, if you can, like, you know, I'm not calling just to beg. Maybe yeah, yeah. well, I the thing know. is, I want everybody to know. See, I tell everybody on this channel, when you send in Super Chats, it helps support my channel and allows me to keep doing the shows. At the same time, I give away a ton of it, not just like, you know, the obligatory 10% or whatever that some people give. I mean, I give like, um, yeah, it's usually around 50% of the net revenue, but 33% of the entire uh, revenue that comes in, you know, so... You know, you, at least you know that it's doing good there. It's keeping me being able to do this, and we're just moving forward, getting through all the cases out oh. there. Yeah. Did I leave out Allie Cake? She's one of my faves, too. There's not, I don't have They're a all faves. awesome. I love all of y'all. They wouldn't be moderators if they weren't awesome. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But I, I think you've done an excellent job in everything that you have touched on. And I appreciate your work and your dedication. And I can't believe you've been on six hours and I've only watched two. Yeah. But like I said, I have been busy today. 525. And I thank you for all that you do. <laughs> well, thanks. <laughs> Five hours and 25 and, minutes um, so far. Yeah. yeah, I bet you're getting ready to go to bed, too, because it's uh, <laughs> one eleven here oh, on the geez. East Coast. Yeah. You're, yep. What uh, state do you live in? North Carolina. Oh, well, that's a... It's a cool state. Not a basketball. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, it's really pretty in the fall, right? It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Yeah, I bet it is. But y'all have to come see me. We've got great sweet tea <laughs> in our country. There you go. <laughs> in our little country. <laughs> That's awesome. Wow. Well, uh, well, thanks for calling in and being so uh, peppy and happy. You know, I'm always like that. Well, that's great. I always like to. That's who I am. Yeah. But uh, anyway, y'all have a good night, which I'm not saying good night, but yeah. I'll still be here. But thank you for everything, and thank you, Freaks, for all the love that you do and share. 
and I will talk to you again soon. All right. Well, thanks for calling in. That's awesome. Have a good one. And I hate these flipping <laughs> daggum ads. Oh, yeah. I, I keep forgetting you have to turn it off. I, I set the thing on to this one where it was they rarely put an ad so that the viewers don't get interrupted. So I don't know. I think tonight was probably less for most people. But I think there's a way. Uh, but the problem is I don't really take a lot of breaks during the shows, you know. Like I'm just sitting here. I know. So it's like I, there's a one option where you can press a button, and that's when an ad goes out, and then it doesn't interrupt you all the mm -hmm. other time. So I thought well, of I that. Get them all but not well, really sure. I don't get them all the time. Yeah. So. But I got, I'm getting them tonight, maybe because I'm late. I don't know. But anyway, I don't mean to hold the line or hold anyone else that calls in. But call in, Pete. Yeah. Because there's... Greg is a really a uh, stupendous, wonderful person. Well, I think the same way about all of you guys. I know. I know. Sometimes I'm really like pushing to get to the goals and everything like that because it's just uh, I, it's so important. I mean, for me, it's, I just got to do it. You know, so if you don't <laughs> do it, I can't say it like you. <laughs> you bastards! All right. Anyways, there you go. Well, thanks for calling in. All right. Good night. <laughs> all right. Oh, you're welcome. Good night. All right. Bye bye. Bye. Ginger Keys. Very kind, very kind. Yeah. So, like I said, I don't want people, don't ever send something in if it's like your last money or if it affects your life in any way at all. I don't want that to be. As a matter of fact, you'll probably be the ones that you get the free memberships. Just make yourself available for them. We, we have very generous freaks out there that give away a lot of memberships, and I give away... I don't know, God, I don't know, 40 a month at least. I mean, it's probably more than that. Um, okay, I think every logical person wants him to get a fair trial. Yeah. But does that mean that, uh, like, um, I mean, these, these fundraisers, <laughs> I, I don't really get this part, you know? I mean, you're having a fundraiser for a guy that incredibly likely killed two 13 and 14 year olds. I mean, why is Richard Allen getting such great treatment? It's insane. Yeah, let's see. I mean, what a weird case for people to pick uh, the killer's side. Because well, we're not sure yet, Gray. Right. Well, he's very likely is the killer. So, right, everybody, hit that like button for me really quick. <laughs> I do have a bladder of steel, I guess. Maybe I just don't drink enough liquid during the show, I guess. Yeah, no, it, it is scary. Yeah. Richard Allen. Oh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let me do it. Gray, how can you think Richard Allen is a killer? That's weird. Well, let me see. Listen, listen, everybody. Richard Allen was arrested for the murders and given no bail. Okay? Oh, yeah, and, and, and they, they found a bullet at the crime scene that appears to be ejected from his gun. He's confessed multiple times, perhaps even talking about a particular vehicle that showed up and scared him off. Um, I mean, he's he admits to being there during the time of the murders. In fact, he has no out. He's trapped. Okay? Do you get it? But still, Gray! <laughs> but still... What do you mean, but still? There's nothing else after that. Hey, thanks. Who am? And Kit Kat. <laughs> well, thanks, Amber A. Yeah. I do try to make uh, people laugh, you know. I mean, so a lot of people don't like me. They don't like that I try to get super chats and raise funds for the channel and everything like that. And they, oh, it's grift. You're a grifter, Gray. You know what? I would be the worst grifter on the planet Earth. Okay. And the reason I, I'm saying that is because wouldn't a grifter have tried to keep some of that 191,000 over there? 
I mean, wouldn't you just go, oh, man, we gave 100. Oh, yeah, or 50. Hey, man, because 50 would sound good, right? That's so ridiculous. Uh, I, I don't even know what to say when people do that. I know what I know in my head and what I'm doing and what I think. And that's when you know that you can virtually prove in your own head that somebody's an idiot. Hey, thanks, Kit Kat. What's going on? Hey, Kit Kat, I have to admit, I bought a Reese's peanut butter cup the other day and passed up on the Kit Kat. I know that's offensive to you, but... I want to know what route new lawyers could have taken if the defense were thrown out. Huh? They were they were going to do the same thing, Jezo. They were going they were going to do that route. That's what they were talking about. Like, oh man, these Odinists. Remember the attorney that got on the on the news? That's that's what he said. Thanks, revengeance. As in, that's a combination of. Revenge and vengeance, which is really the same thing, but why don't they call it? Why isn't the word revengeance, anyways? <laughs> you know, because vengeance is like somebody that, uh, like, revenge, I guess, is the what is it? I don't know, it's hard to really kind of describe it are we sure it's not just vengeance twice oh yeah like he's revengeancing <laughs> huh okay hey Todd are you are you a troll I mean how long have you been here for because that's one of the dumbest things I've ever seen or are you being sarcastic Yeah, there's no there's no Photoshop editing at all done on any of those images other than it being cropped and perhaps changing the contrast for visibility. All right. And if uh, that's actually a block worthy thing when somebody says that the images are photo or they're, they're uh, photoshopped and changed and altered to add things into the scene. That's when you get blocked from here, because that means you're you're a crazy person, all right? So, and I'm going to remove the person because they're taking up all the airways. Okay, so why don't I just uh, maybe they can come back another time, all right? Now I'm not not interested, man. Not not interested. All right, I know you're full of shit. So maybe come back uh, tomorrow sometime. All right, have a good one. Uh, that means you're crazy. Yeah, it, it really it does mean that. If you think that the the images are photoshopped and things are added into the scene, you're nuts. Okay. And you see the same types of people saying it, and I don't want those people anywhere near this channel. Okay, I know exactly what I'm talking about. It's not, gosh, Gray, somebody just had a different opinion. No, it's conspiracy nutter stuff. Yeah, and by the way, they're taking up too much time in the chat. Uh, so they can come back in 24 hours. Let's see if they change. And if they say one thing like, gosh, it's not fair. Okay, okay bye. Okay, uh, we don't have time. Don't have time. He, he is, Cindy. I know that you're one of the people that buys into conspiracy theories. I know that that's what you like to do. Uh, he is. That's total garbage. Or if he, even if he believes it, it's garbage. So for me, that's trolling. It, it's like, I don't want people that come in and go, oh my God, the images were photographed, uh, photoshopped, and they really believe it. Because that means they are brain dead. All right? I don't want to have it. it it's not true. I know you like to believe in that stuff, Cindy, but it's garbage. All right? And you're the one that said, don't read the comment. Uh, address what he's saying. I know it's false, okay? What in the hell is, what's going on, Cindy? Why, why would you even give anything? Ah, oh, Jesus, Cindy. I'm gonna, I almost wanna time you out now for saying you're sorry. It's garbage, okay? 
that's not worth having a conversation over. Uh, the Odin is photoshopped. Oh, yeah. <laughs> why do you guys even entertain stuff like that? It's it's scary. Like, why have a conversation? Right? It's obvious the brown below the jacket was added and even painted over the jacket. So it's not real. Unless they covered it. I mean, that's just so... It, uh, it's idiotic. I'm sorry. Okay, I know that if you zoom in... Things look pixelated, but they zoomed in on a tiny little portion. Why do you give any of that stuff even a, a look? Listen, just think through things logically, everybody. Why would they do the photo the photoshopping? Okay? What what did it do? And who did it then? So then it's this massive government cover up. With Odinists working there too, they're the same ones that hired the two guards to work at the prison because the real killer in the Delphi case was an Odinist. So they photoshopped something else on there so it looked like maybe something that Richard Allen, maybe a war or something. It, Cindy, it's, it's garbage, man. I'm not, I'm not undoing what I did. I know exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> as soon as you start talking about how uh, Odinus, I mean, that the images are photoshopped, then you have a screw loose. Now, if you want to say they were photoshopped by being cropped, sure, I can buy that. Uh, that's fine. You know, that's how they got Abby out of the image. But there is nothing added to it. There wasn't anything added uh, like that at all. It's ridiculous. God, it's, it's scary. I know you guys don't like that, right? You think I should just be okay with somebody believing that the images are edited. Forget it. And then we're right there in the Kanika Jenkins case. Can't do it, man. Can't do it. No, it's not your bad, Cindy. You you let me aware, made me aware of it. You shouldn't even feel bad about it. But the fact that you thought there was some validity to it, that's the scary part. All right, think through things a little bit. I mean, doesn't that just sound ludicrous? Somehow, early on, they took the time to put something extra in there so that we wouldn't recognize... So the FBI uh, put in some brown clothing so that the public couldn't help identify the person. They wanted to trick everybody. Man, that's, that's, that's creepy. That's, <laughs> that's almost scary, to be honest with you. Let me, let me uh, ask you guys something. Does it bother you that I don't allow stuff like that? Like, you guys enjoy having this long conversation, taking up the airways, talking about something that is absolutely bogus? Or do you want me to be more like, oh yeah, that's really interesting. That's really interesting. Well, I, well the thing is, Laura, the, the answer, the trolls that are in here, they'll always say the opposite. So I'm not going to do the poll. I know exactly the number. <clears throat> <laughs> right, like like Amber, I hope most of you are here because I don't deal with that stuff. It's not, and I can't even be uh, kind about it, especially when somebody pops back in with, well, it really is, I can send you something. I'm just not interested. It's not real what you're saying. And it makes people get confused because if you're sitting there and you're about to believe that, uh, yeah, wow, the photographs are edited, well, then you start wondering, well, gosh, if they really are edited, who did it and why? Oh, whoa, so maybe there is something to this Odinist thing. I mean, they, they're the ones that put the, those two uh, corrections officers in there, right? Welcome, lighting their way home. I mean, I hope you guys don't want me to entertain that kind of stuff. That's not what we do here. That's why this channel has a reputation of 
really zeroing in on the crucial important elements of a case and coming up with something that is very likely to have happened. You know, you want to hear something amazing, you guys? After the show last night, remember the, the theory that I had at the very end where I said that, oh yeah, I think he called his grandmother early in the morning and that's exactly what it was. It was 3 a.m. <laughs> okay, so everything that we figured out at the end of the show is turning out to be reality. Uh, we've got some voice messages to listen to here and that's from the girlfriend that was writing him. So um, I'm interested to hear those. And But that, the only way we get that way is when we sort of start cutting out the clutter, the weirdness on the side and focusing in on what is actually the, or the, what are the important elements of a case. And when you start talking about the images were edited, I would bet you that there has been if, if any cases ever, maybe one, I mean, I've never even heard of one, where literal uh, video, things were added in there on a piece of video on somebody else's camera. I mean, wh wh uh, wh what are we talking about here? Not doing it, not doing it. Let's see. Uh, oh, wait, let's see. Oh, wow. So, um, Mag hasn't been here because they all got COVID over there. Jesus. Still have a bit of a cough. Man, <laughs> man, they can't win for losing over there. That's amazing. Well, I hope you're feeling better out there, Mag, at some point, if you're listening. Uh, let's see. Uh, yep, there's that one, and that one, okay. <clears throat> so if you're out there, Mag, and you're listening, hope you feel better. Maybe we'll see you one of these days again. Sounds like you're, everyone's getting better, it sounds like. Man, that's brutal. I've only had COVID once. Don't really want it again, to be honest with you. It's not really the greatest thing in the world. It wasn't horrible, though. I never felt like just absolutely ridiculous or anything. All right, so give me some questions. What do you got? What, what's a question that you have? Let's do it. Let's do it, man. This is uh, late night radio here. Maybe we should need to put on the... Uh, the good music, this one right here. Let's do it. The audio key gen. From the green forests of the Pacific Northwest, I bid you all good evening, or good morning as the case may be. That's my version of the Art Bell music. All right, anyways, there you go. Art Bell would say from the high desert of the great American Southwest. I bid you all good evening. Here you go. Good evening and welcome. That's how he had kind of a little nasally, but just a great voice, you know, it was like. From the high desert of the great American Southwest, I bid you all good evening. Or good morning, as the case may be. <laughs> Anyways, what do you got? Any questions out there? I never like, yeah, I don't like, yeah, ju exactly, George Snorri. Totally, one of the most boring, I haven't even listened to that show in 10 years. Don't have time. He's not, he's not even interesting. 
Do, do we know what the actual murder weapon was? Uh, a knife. Yeah, something like a sharp-edged weapon. Uh, Art Bell's the only one that was good. This was amazing. You had a guy named Chuck Na with a deep voice. He would be like, Art Bell. <laughs> Wild card line, 1-800. Uh, but come on, you gotta admit, Art Bell's is, is better than George Knapp, Sub Rosa. Come on, jeez. Well, thanks, Aaron. I'll be fine tomorrow. I'm just complaining tonight. What are you complaining about? What's going on? You have, is there anything going on? Problems or? Forgive me. I have an absolutely horrendous day, so I'm a bit tipsy and a bit meaner than you. <laughs> you seem pretty normal to me. Oh, I remember Ian Punnett. Man, that guy was so boring. He was like uh, Howdy Doody or something. Doing. You think Richard Allen was walking with a limp on the bridge? No, I do not. There's only two seconds of video. There's no way to tell that. He has to try to avoid the large gaping holes under the bridge. See, I'm just looking at that and the structure of the face. That's it. Like, just squint your eyes. You see the very consistent with the other images there. Now... Yeah. He's the guy on the bridge. Richard Allen is bridge guy. Oh, did he? I thought he was kind of a young person. Why, well, you guys still listen to that show, Allie? Is that, that's wild. What do you think the defense will try to pull next? Um, do you guys, I think the trial's happening now, though, don't you think? Does Richard Allen have any previous convictions? Um, I don't know. I don't see one. Now looky here. I don't see one. Uh, he doesn't have any previous convictions. Just like um, Stephen Stearns had no previous connections or um, convictions. Just like Brian Koberger had no previous convictions. It means absolutely nothing. Yeah, well, because I just brought that up on the show. I mean, I see Bigfoot. Well, how about you? Let's look at that again. We zoom in here. And if you look at that really carefully there, that's the Patterson film version of Bigfoot. I think we can all see that quite clearly. that out again there it is look at watch this it's almost not you can't even deny it really it's I mean look at that see you don't see that right there right here there's the head arm swinging 100% all right Absolutely, 100%. Oh my God, it's Chewbacca. <laughs> Chewbacca? It's not Bigfoot. I'll be Chewbacca if you want me to. Oh, you see it now? Okay. I thought you didn't. You didn't see it before. Let me try. Let's try this one. I mean, that one's crystal clear. I mean, how look at look at that. That do that one I mean look at this look you don't see that I mean, that's literally the same image look at it. it's got the arm swing and everything I mean, it's, that's just unreal really like you could literally lay that on top of it and you'd say my god it's Bigfoot you know what's even more amazing is that I saw that little shape and said to myself 
man, that looks just like the Robert the the Patterson film image of Bigfoot. And when I brought it in, it looks exactly like it. I mean, it's like literally exactly the same. You see that? It's actually very similar to my emoji, you guys. The one of my face, which isn't really me. It's just a paint on a lock. <laughs> uh, we should do a whole video on this one. You know what, everybody? I had it wrong. Richard Allen is not the killer. It's actually Sasquatch. Now, if we take it, we zoom in right here. You can see that Sasquatch is. Uh, this is literally the same Sasquatch in the Patterson films. Notice how the in the one frame here, his left arm is swinging forward and his right arm is back. And his head is exactly the same with the shoulder. He, in all these years, in 45 years, he looked exactly the same. Amazingly, he jumped in the air off of a tree to look like this. Because when we look at it, he's way up in the sky. So he jumped up and he paused right when the camera shot was taken. It's unbelievable. So let's get that. We got to really dig into this. Let's not kid around anymore. There it is. You don't see that? <laughs> you got to admit, though, that the shape of it's so similar, right? <laughs> That's absolutely Bigfoot right there, uh, 100%. In fact, there's no chance that it's not Bigfoot. Now, what I heard was is that the Odinist people are really into Bigfoot, and they sometimes will hang out in the woods together and concoct new runes of some sort. And perhaps uh, one of these Odinists was out there that day working with Bigfoot, but Richard Allen killed him. Now the Odinists are being blamed for the murder of Richard Allen when in reality they were just out there working with Bigfoot to create the runes. Ah! Those bastards. Can't believe it. Hey, thanks, Dina. Oogla Boogla. Oh, yeah. yeah but, you, know, you gotta admit, though, right? Isn't it weird, though, how the, the shape is pretty similar, like the whole thing? It's just one of those things. It's called pareidolia. Uh, P-A-R-E-I-D-O-L-I-A. P -A -R -E -I -D -O -L -I -A. And it's like your eye picks out things that look humanistic. And I saw that, and I go, oh, look at that. And there it is. I mean, tomorrow there should be full shows on this stuff. All right. I know one YouTuber will probably even say, now look at this. Uh, I mean, it looks like uh, great dexterity. Maybe that answers all the questions, everybody. One man acting alone could not have done this. But you add Bigfoot to the mix and you could do just about anything. Imagine how powerful these people are. Our beings, excuse me. <laughs> I don't want to, you know, we're not humans, of course. <clears throat> well, you guys, I'm at six hours, so I'm going to get the hell out of here. Thank you all for showing up. Hope you found the show interesting. Early on, we went through all those kind of uh, just just different things, right, that are out there. And, uh, you know, law enforcement has believed it's just one person since the very beginning, too, in the case, that there's just one person at the crime scene, the one person said down the hill. Now, uh, the evidence shows that. Uh, people who think, oh, man, how could one person do this? They're just trying to sell you a bunch of garbage. Uh, there's been individual killers that have killed way more than this many people and and adults and you know it's just I don't even know where these people come from when they say stuff like that. I mean he was there for from the crime scene likely from about 2:25 until 3:45 or something. You know, he's there for a long time.
Isn't that amazing? Yeah, it was just floating up in the air above his head. <laughs> yeah. Bigfoot was just checking on his Birkenstock shares. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, exactly. Why would a defense lawyer lie? Yeah, really. Yeah, how about this one? Gray, did you hear the one defense attorney? No, what did he say? He said he thinks Richard Allen's innocent. And he's one of the only ones he ever thought he was really innocent about. But do you think he would say that he thought Richard Allen was guilty after he was just working for him and the case hasn't been uh, solved yet? No, but that... Well, that's all that matters, right? He's going to say exactly that every single defense attorney that ever exists would say that exact sentence of somebody that he just represented it, uh, just uh, represented and was taken off the case and two new attorneys, uh, the old attorneys were put back on. He's not going to throw the client out of the bus because he would never get a job again as a defense attorney. But still, Gray, he was really certain about it. He said for sure that he was... Oh, God. Wow. Gosh, Gray, was just a question. Gee. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's see. All right. Anyways, that's going to do it. I don't know if you guys are behind me or what's going on. Yeah. Anyways, thanks Dana Dane for becoming a new member. Then we have Heather N, Kathy Chapin, Kelly Snyder, Lisa Valenzuela, Kathy Chapin, Cindy J, Renee H, Heather N, One L Michelle, Wise Child, Sun Gal, 1956, Jerry Walker, Charles Irwin, Esther, Michelle H. Allie Cake, Amber Maiden, Sherry Davis, uh, Glow From Cold, Mama Lion, Phil, Kim Christian, 1L Michelle, Heather A.N., Jill Downey, Danny I.C.U.R.N., uh, Gene Salzman, Wise Child, Joshua, Lynn, uh, what was it, Lynn Sicum, Lynn Sicum, Kathy Chapin, Amber Maiden, Ginger Keys, Lanky Tor gifted five memberships. Thank you very much. Bridget Bauman, Dallas Rose, I gifted five. Then Lanky Tor, Zozo, went for a, a dollar holler. No, we had <laughs> Mary Buchanan, Sirius Black, Kim Christian, Donna Aldridge, I think all jumped in there. Then Who Am, Kit Kat, Revengeance. Then lightning or lighting their way home, a new member, and Dina. So welcome all the new members out there. Uh, but if you're a member here, just realize we don't do conspiracy theories, right? Like if you know, sometimes conspiracy theories are real, but they're never quite the level that a lot of people believe in. Uh, nobody's taking a video of a crime scene and editing in a brown undershirt. I mean, to me, that's actually funny. <laughs> it's like, are you kidding me? What's the point of doing that? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, thanks, everybody, for being here. We'll see you uh, tomorrow, okay? And as I always say, until next time. And by the way, thanks, everybody, for your generosity. We got to our, you know, got a little bit past the goal tonight. So that was good. And, uh, yeah, we're just moving, moving forward. Got two more days, one tomorrow, and then the final day. And we'll see if we can get up to, uh, try to get to at least 6,000 for the month. 6,500 is my goal. Kind of just depends on the, uh, the, how that last night goes. Usually it's pretty good, but we'll see. You know, you never know. So thanks again. We'll see you tomorrow. And as I always say, until next time, be safe out there. Well, cool, Nikki. Tomorrow's Saturday and Sunday's your birthday. That's the donation night. <laughs> All right. Well, let me know. Let me know. Thanks, yeah, Greg. Thanks for answer, answering all my questions. And during hey, this no whole problem. time, I have not seen one person that is a... Hey. 
Cranberry sector, the projector, I'm a certified human lie detector. I'm gonna get ya on a stretcher. It's a crime for me like an old projector. Crime sector is my nectar. Professor Gray is gonna give another lecture. Crime collector, freak connector. And I'm gonna be a blah 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 just remember, I have a temple fucking check shop. I have no agenda. I'm no pretender. And I'll serve it to you straight without the blender. And in the end, I'm gonna send ya all oh, mission to your little 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 fender. Yeah, so hey, John Boy, you took my last spot. Well, I wanted to. You know, I never get to say anything. I know Amber likes me, but the rest of you, you can just all go to hell. <laughs> Gosh, John Boy, I didn't know really you felt so bad. What does field so bad mean? Oh, I mean, uh, that, it was like my past tense for felt. Well, that is past tense. I already felt it. Oh my god, what the hell are you talking about? Yeah, yeah these, these two are a little bit crazy here. All right, a uh, little, little nutty. <laughs> Anyways, we'll see you guys later. And... Be safe out there. You bastard.